Because I always, yo, I'm weird. I always say in my past life, I lived in like, I was, I don't know why. I always said I was like, I lived on like in the country, mm -hmm. but as like a dog. In my past life, I was like a dog, but in the country type shit. But I, <laughs> like, you, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so here's the thing. Under normal circumstances, I'd be like, damn right, you a dog, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? And he's like, been a dog, you know what I'm saying? Because we, you know, we play in the Brick City, we, yeah, you dog. We, but I know what you meant. That's not what you meant at all. <laughs> you did not mean a dog in mentality and how hard you play basketball. You meant a dog. Oh. Oh, it's John. You meant a dog as a fucking animal. Like a lab, like a, lab, a golden retriever. When me and Jay came up from Atlanta, and when, you know when you drive when you drive from Atlanta, like you mm -hmm. pass by like the Appalachian, you see the mountains like in Virginia and shit like that. Yeah. Like I, we was driving past, I was like, damn, that looks like home. Yeah. <laughs> like I always want to live in the hills, bro. But you, I, this is what I was like. You're like picture myself like I picture you like <laughs> mentally as you know how like a dog is like sitting yeah. and just like in the breeze. <laughs> Like, I know you envisioned yourself in, like, a prairie. Yeah. Like, as a prairie dog, just being a fucking dog, <laughs> doing nothing. <laughs> just Which free. is mid-aspirations. Like, that is <laughs> mid-dreams. I'm not going to lie. That's mid as hell, bro. I'm like... Yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Records Podcast, episode number 123, 123. I'm your host, DW, aka Darius. I'm back here with my co-host. You see him. He's back in the building. He's back from another country. Give a shout out to my boy, Tyrone. What's good, brother? Yeah, real wicked in the ends, isn't it? <laughs> I'll tell you. But um, what was that? You pe That was my London accent. Nah. That wasn't hard? Nah, you got to try again. Because I, I do be knowing about the London people, bro. I be watching Beta Squad. And Idris Elba. Get rather wicked, innit? That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. But you peep one, two, three, you know who wears the number 23? Ooh. LeBron James. I was going to say Michael oh. Jordan. Nah, he's not even the best scorer to wear number 23. LeBron is. Technically, you, you ain't spitting, wrong. I'm, you spitting facts. Straight facts. Bro. You spitting facts. Just what I do. Bro. But if you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Last week, we said. That one's on. Yeah, it's on. It's okay, always been okay. on, bro. So whatever yeah. you said before this, you, it's on camera. Oh, okay. So they heard about the kids. Say no, say, <laughs> say no, so if you're new to ch the channel, subscribe, like. It's free to like. It's free to subscribe. Road to 10k. I don't know how we not at 10k yet. If you don't like, what? How many likes do we have? Because we Corey threatened them, and now we have like the most likes that we had in a minute on a pod. On a pod, we had almost. We have at 40 likes right now. How many likes do you think they could get? If not, we got threatened them. Um. Can I get at least? Can I get? How much did Corey say before? We said thirty. If we we said if we didn't hit thirty, we uh, we some ugly niggas. So Ty got a haircut. I didn't get a haircut, bro, so maybe me. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. <clears throat> nah, I can't say that on the pod. I was about to tweet. What the fuck was you about to nah, say? I was about to say some crazy shit. <laughs> what the fuck was this? Nah, nigga I'm not gonna lie, bro. Um, if we don't hit at least fifty, I'm not fucking with. 40 I need 50 If you don't hit this 50 I'll be under your bed And I'm gonna tickle your feet 50 likes right here The like is free It's, it's literally free. It's the freest thing in the world Yeah, yeah Exactly it's, it's a handout bro Think about I it I would like your thing For me <laughs> Real if shit. I saw it, I would like it. Real shit, bro it's Literally real, bro. right now It's two minutes into the pod If you haven't liked it Like it right, like it right now We thank you New stuff coming to the pod. If you see, I don't know if you see in the background, Jay playing Fortnite. Or drop a little comment. Oh yeah, drop me. a comment. Shout out to all y'all in the comments. We be seeing all y'all comments, all that stuff. Kim, I see you all the time, brother. We got your topic coming soon. I don't know about this episode. We're gonna do the next episode, I promise. But um, we got a lot of good stuff to talk about today. Uh, some announcements for the pod uh, for the new year. We're we're gonna be streaming. So follow our Twitch. We're gonna do live pods on Twitch and on TikTok. But it's gonna be with the Twitch though. We're going to do gaming podcasts. I don't know if y'all ever heard of gaming podcasts, but we're going to be playing games and y'all going to comment, y'all answer, or y'all topics you want us to talk about, questions you have for us, and we're going to be playing games and talking about it like we're in the PlayStation party chat like normal. You know what I'm saying? This bars. Real it's shit. This hard. hard. Type shit. So follow the Twitch down below. No regulars on Twitch and all that good stuff. But 
Hey man, you want to tell us Tap about to the Discord too? Oh yeah, the Discord. I almost forgot the Discord. Discord. We're gonna be putting hella questions, announcements, hella questions up there. things to talk about, new things, new things coming to the channel. Patreon. And you things. hop in the Discord, you get to you could feel me. We talk in the Discord. You get to play the game with us. We got a couple of people who be in the Discord. We be playing on two K with. Shout out Trey now, Gaming. So. You know what I'm saying? You he be in the Discord all the time. We're gonna do a lot of stuff on Discord. Also, we're and doing a lot ja. of. Forget about him. He's on the 2K league. Oh, yeah, Josh. Shout out Josh, bro. We're going to do movie nights. We're going to do tier lists on Discord. We're going to have this shit jump in this 2024. So stay tuned for that. Join the Discord right now. All linked in bio. But uh, Tyrone is back from another country. He's went to the... I don't know. How many countries you been to in the last couple of weeks? Um, Last couple of weeks, I've been to one, two, three, four. Four? I've Where'd you go? Four. I went to America. Nigga like said America. <laughs> I, went to, I went to the UK, bro. Yeah. Um, I went to Belgium. That's how they say Belgium. <laughs> um, and I went to France. Went to Paris? Pe- pe- that I was a lot. The way I said France was OD. That was good, bro. The way I said France was max. You went to Paris? But, yeah. I'm not. I'm about to real quick before I get into it because I'm thirsty. So yeah, yeah, nah, me yo, too. Yo, <laughs> me too. <laughs> I'm gonna get done with the intro. Me guy. too. So check. Hey, the drink of the day for today. Feel me. Ty's drink of the day. What? I shouldn't have opened it. I never opened it before. I always open it on camera. I Dang, just spilled it. I feel bad. <laughs> this couch been through some shit. Yeah. Bro. All from this nigga. Bruh. What you got, bro? All right. So it is, uh, this is called Elaney. It's called Kimade. Kimade? Kimade? I don't know. It's an energy drink, bro. It's purple. 200 grams of caffeine. I probably shouldn't be drinking this at the time of night, but... Hey, fuck it, bro. We got a pod, nigga. You know you're talking about? And what flavor you got in that Celsius? I got a Celsius Live Fit Sparkling Kiwi Guava. And then I also got a, a Sparkling Watermelon to see how which one's better. But I think this one's going to bust, though. Yeah, yeah, guava? I think, I think guava, Guava's a great... Low-key... You know what I mean? Low-key was... underrated fruit. But I would never eat it outside of a drink, though. Have you ever tried a guava fruit? No, nah, I never have. But I feel like it's, like, mushy. I really want a guava fruit. Have you tried one? No. That's the next thing I'm bringing here. We should bring fruit next time. Like shit we never tried before. You ever had breadfruit? No. It's an island thing. If you any islanders out there, bro, I'm telling you, the breadfruit is the worst fruit ever. <laughs> my, my my mom loves like making it and or, so she like puts it, boils it, and it, I don't go for that. What color is it? Brown. Oh <laughs> <laughs> it's been weird. I'm thinking you're gonna say that shit's rocking. No, that shit has. That shit like what's it? Booty, really? <laughs> yeah, it's your booty, bro. We should, we should, because you know the Asian food market, they got hella uh, cool ass fruits. Like star, you ever had star fruit? I'm, Dragon fruit. We what? gotta bring those. We gotta bring some for uh, the Caribbean market. We gotta tweak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, ne- next pod, next pod, next pod, but next pod. Mukbang. I'm about to try it. Hey, Great. cheers, brother, for a good pod. Thank ah, let's see how this shit tastes. Mm. It's actually pretty good. Shit is busting. Wait. It's like at first it tastes like every other Celsius, but then like once it goes down your throat, pause, the the fr- the fruit sensation comes out. <laughs> like it starts tasting like a guava fruit. Like that's weird as fuck. I'm not gonna lie to you. This shit is crack. That shit's good. This is cocaine. <laughs> this shit is OD. Like at first it hits you with that fruit, with that chymade, right? I don't know. <laughs> that might be it. Might be like kiwi lime, low key. Kiwi lime, kiwi made. lime, kiwi lime. Made. Ooh, that's hard. That's hard. That's hard. But it it's buzzing. I don't know. Is it, let me see. It's better than you thought. Low key, fake healthy, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. Ten calories. I, yeah, honestly, them, them calories be deceiving. Cause I heard they just like because even though I do go for the lower calories, I heard they put like hella shit in there just to like add on to like flavors and shit. Like hella, is it artificial? Ball to fall. University, um, natural and artificially flavored. Oh, I, oh, well, a little artificial, you know, yeah, yeah. a little artificial don't hurt, bro. A little yeah, artificial. As long as high bro. fructose corn syrup is not the, it's not carbonated water is the first natural artificial. How about that other one you got? That other one Loki look busting too. That's peach. I'm definitely about to try this shit. This shit is um, Eleni juicy peach. Oh, I like zero sugar. I might. You open that one? I didn't open it. Okay. You want to try it? No, nah, no, nah, you cool. You cool. I'm going to try it when I finish that one. All right, bet, bet, bet. Oh, my snack. I got two snacks. I didn't know how I was feeling because this doesn't complement yeah. the Bev. Yeah, yeah. But it was busting, right? You had this before? Nah. Oh, it, it looked busting. busting. Okay, it looked busting. Okay. You feel me? You got the, you, you got you, got you. The little Chex Mix buddy, Muddy Buddy. Muddy, muddy, buddy. You my muddy buddy. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> muddy <laughs> buddies. <laughs> this is OD. I don't even hold know. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. Muddy <laughs> buddies are max. 
<laughs> Muddy Buddies. That's are a nice. great name. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's a great. And name. I got Berry Clouds. I never saw Be- Harbo make these shits. Actually, Berry they be clouds. having those at uh, what's the what's the shit we go to? Krausers. They got those at Krausers. Yo, when's the last time you been to that shop? Remember we went and we had to get um. We got like three. Di- we were geeking. I don't know why we did that, but we got like three different boxes of pop tarts for no reason. From we got, where we got a random big ass soda, and then we got cookies for Coach Ron. It was like these special cookies. He oh, only eats. Oh, you talking about when we went to uh, the 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 supermarket thing? Yeah, but it was like in the middle of the hood, in the middle of Elizabeth. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's um, that's food bazaar. Where's the last time you've been there? Uh, there's, there's one by J Crip, so I go there like like. You be getting like they have like the wacky ass shit too. Yeah. It's I'm like gonna go, a, I gotta run it back over. It's there. like a it's like a Spanish supermarket, so they got more Spanish in there. Mm-hmm. And I'll take some. Mm. That's it. Yo, Haribo honestly is like the worst like gummy candy. What is that? Up? Because like or okay, not gummy candy. Let me not say candy. I'll say gummy bears. Mm. Cause oh. they're bear gummy bears is hard as hell, bro. So hard to eat, yeah. Like like if you you if you go to the store and get a bag of Haribo gummy bears, I'm gonna judge you. What about the sour ones? Still, bro, them shit is hard as fuck, bro. Like, there's yeah. no way. That's literally hard candy. Yeah. You know, like, that shit hurts my yeah. teeth. Yeah, Chewing that shit. Give me candy. I mean, cavities. I mean, you gotta put that this shit in the microwave. soft and fruity. Nah, these is good, though. These is good. This shit tastes like a... I feel like I'm chewing a cloud, my nigga. Very cloud. That's not, not bad. Yeah, that's not that bad. I respect it. Compliments my best. What podcast you think will be at when you, when you go to the store and you... Like um, tried everything you thought you would like. You said what? What what episode you think we'll be at? Because you've been doing this since. I think your first episode was like, Damn. ten or eleven. We're at one twenty three. Where I've tried everything in quick check. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> or everything like literally like, there's like you can't find nothing that looks bussing. Like that. I gotta be like episode. 452. Okay, 452, that's not bad. That's like, damn, that's like... 452. Four fi- in the 450, that's like six Because like, I'd be avoiding shit that look nasty. Oh, really? Because these just look good. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd be seeing shit like, I will never drink that shit. Like, <laughs> and I'm going to run out and I'm going to have to. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what I'm like, yeah, nah, Okay, bro. okay, 450, that's not bad. 450, yeah, hey. Yeah, I have to go with the 450, right? If you're here until 450, you're a real nigga, bro. Mm-hmm. If you're not here... I'm like I was gonna say some wild shit. I don't want to say that. Your grandma's gonna die. No, I was. <laughs> I'm, feeling venge- I'm feeling vengeful right now. I don't know. <laughs> Nigga say he's feeling vengeful, bro. Yeah, bro. But do you want to tell us how your trip was, bro? That's what I was getting to, my heart. So, first of all, I went to those three countries. The first one. Yeah. Um, I got there and I went to France. When I went to France, mm-hmm. yo, do, do we have a lot of French people listening to this one? Uh, no, nah, it's mostly UK. All right, type shit. So listen, France is horrible. Don't go there. Don't go to. Don't go to. I heard it's really pretty bad. Don't go back. I I I would never go back. Is that as dirty as the people say it is? Yo, it's like yo, pick the worst spot in the Bronx. Pick the worst (laughs) spot in Brooklyn. (laughs) And put like white people in there. Put like rude people in there. Uh, Ah, I heard they're yo, they're mad rude. They were mad inconsiderate. They not inconsiderate, but they just wouldn't even talk. Yeah. And then on top of that, they um. What's it called? It was dirty and then like it was just like they all speak English but they don't want to. Oh, they oh like they I'm assholes. like I'm like hey uh sorry au revoir I don't speak French English <laughs> and then they're like okay and I'm like how do I get help and then they're just like point they don't want to talk to you uh so it's like New York but worse nah but New York you get you could get help you uh, could ask a cop for help you yeah. could ask people for even help. the cops was being or like. There wasn't really. I heard. I heard Paris or France. That's where like niggas like get like pickpocket pickpocketed a lot. Yeah, I had that thing on me though. What thing? That switchblade. Oh, you did. <laughs> you know, I kept that. <laughs> you go. You because you go walk around with that. Like yeah. Like I, so basically like you know they have a real stabbing pro- problem. Yeah 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 yeah. They don't have guns over there. No, they don't shit. got guns. So they got the uh, they, little they got knifey the, the knife. pokers. Yeah, but I was I had that thing tucked like you niggas. Know, <laughs> but nah, like I I kept my bag tight and shit. I won't go there. I went down. Went back to London. Yo, first thing I got to London, we get there, we're walking, and we're by, um, we're walking with, the, I was walking with some of my classmates, we see a cop, I'm like, yo, look at this funny looking cop with this, he had the little hat on his stupid shit. ass hat, Yeah, it was all hard and shit, uh-huh. like, he looked he looked stupid, so, saw bro, and then we see him, and I'm like, looking at him, like, say it was group, like us, I was with, you know, they're students, and they're cool people, so yeah, yeah. Just, like, say it was like us, like, no cap, we would have looked at him and be like, 
This nigga got no authority. We could jump this thing. Like, because he has no gun. Like, <laughs> oh, he's just like out there like this. <laughs> nigga with has a baton. A baton and a, and a stab proof vest. <laughs> I could punch him. Like, <laughs> I could take the baton. <laughs> like, like, and he's dolo. It's not like he's walking with a partner. Yeah. It's one on one and a baton and a hard hat. What are you doing? That's the first thing you thought of when you First thing I thought of down. is if this nigga disrespect me, I would knock him. <laughs> Like, if a cop in real life, like, here, disrespect me, he got it. Yeah, yeah, because he got guns on him. He didn't even have, like, a belt. He only had a baton. He didn't even have, like, mace. I'll be scared to be a cop out there. Because they really... It would j- poke you up, bro. Bro, they be... No, they be walking around with, like, kitchen knives. Yeah. They, <laughs> niggas said that... <laughs> Tallywhacker. <laughs> niggas, <laughs> niggas said that the niggas in UK be, like, on guard instead of pull up. They be, like... They be unguarding like Unguard. this. <laughs> they got knives <laughs> and just poking like. Because there was a. I, I, Unbloused I, your trousers. <laughs> I, 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 I seen a video on Twitter where a nigga got. Uh, he got. He was at a store with this girl, and then two niggas pulled up with knives, and they was just going like this back and forth, and like, but like the guy had a knife on him too. Yo, that shit was like like this big. Yeah, they be having swords and shit. Yo, and they just go like this, and the nigga had the chair like you know you know when a nigga has a chair like with a lion. Yeah, yeah he was yeah, like yeah. that, and just just poking back and forth, and they would niggas was they wasn't doing nothing. They was just like. Like faking each other, trying like, to and it just looked head. funny. And that's when niggas like, yeah, niggas really just be like, on guard, like like pirates. That's what it looked like. Unsheath your sword, like <laughs> unsheath your sword, niggas and they just be, get to it. Like, be like fencing, bro. It's funny as hell because like no one's getting shot. Like, but like that's that's a terrible way. I don't want to get run up stabbed. and stabbed. Like I seen like yo, my Twitter feed has been bugging lately. Like lie, nigga, pull a knife on me like in the states. I feel like he's, I don't feel as threatened. What? I feel but over there, he pulled a knife on me. I'm like, ah, oh, you probably stabbing niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know oh, I get, I you get what me? you mean. Because if he has a knife, he probably just trying to scare niggas. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, bro, everybody over I'm there about got to knives. run. Like, you got a knife and I'm about to run. Now what? Like, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, over yeah. there, it's like, then you might catch me. Yeah, like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, but I was saying, um, so when I went to, um, when I went to, to London, he, he first thing he said, I said, I could beat this nigga ass, right? <laughs> then he walked up to us. And the very first thing he said, like we start talking, he hears our accent. He uh-huh. says, "So oh, it's American." He said, "Is it true your schools always get shot up?" <laughs> first thing, he was a funny guy. <laughs> this guy was hilarious. <laughs> the thing about the cops over there, all about that action, because he came in and got straight to cooking. He said, "Is it true your schools always get uh, shot up?" And he's like, "It's like yeah, it's like we see it all the time. That's why we don't have guns." Starts touching his vest. I'm like, "Yo," he's like, "We just got this," and I'm like, "Yo, what?" <laughs> and he's like he starts laughing and he was like you like Trump I'm like yo why is he disrespecting us like did you tell him you like Trump what did I say <laughs> I was, see my classmates they ain't know uh, they ain't know they ain't know wait that. so were all y'all because you was there for like a foreign exchange program right yeah, yeah so yeah so you were so were you abroad. so when you wait what'd you say yeah study abroad study abroad yeah. study abroad so like when you went to the airport were you already there with like the people you was going with like, you I guys, got there earlier oh, okay, okay so I got there like four days earlier Oh. And the class got there Monday. I got there past Thursday. Did you have to pay? You had to pay for that, right? When that shit was all paid for. Well, the so the room but before that, I had to pay for that. Yeah, yeah. And I left a little later too, oh, so okay. I had to pay for like the hotel. My yeah cousin yeah. hooked me up and shit. He got, oh, okay, that's he, not yeah, bad. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's tough. So how many people was in your class? Like but six. It was twenty. No, it was twenty five of us. And they're all Rutgers. All Rutgers University. Okay, that's tough. That's they're, tough. They're all school of public health. A lot of them are pre med. Okay, that's tough. Getting their uh, DRPH and shit, but then London, it was cool. Shout out to Nando's. Nando's is buzzing. That, that shit, shit is buzzing. buzzing. Oh Nando's my god, is bro. Od. I be seeing all the UK niggas eat Nando. I'm like, yo, that shit looks rocking. I know why, bro. Nando's is buzzing. Cause I be watching Beta Squad a lot. So them niggas, all they do is eat Nando's and shit. Wait, what'd you get? What'd you get? I got first thing I got was the butterfly chicken sandwich oh. <laughs> with the uh, peri 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 chips. <laughs> the peri peri tri- no, chips, chips, chips. Bro, they call it chips. Yeah, my bro. fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peri peri chips. I wasn't going for it though. I was saying fries. And then, um, <laughs> and then, um, then I got. I had Nando's like four times, five times. Really? That's I, how busting it was. Geeked up. Yeah. Okay, so because compa- that's like their fast food, right? Technically, yeah. I mean, there's McDonald's and shit. But is it like, is it like a fast food place or is it like a restaurant? Like, what does it look like to it's you? Like, it's like both. So, so it's like both. When you go in for the American views, right? It was like you go in and it's like you could sit down and just order on your phone, and they'll yeah. bring it to you. Uh huh. Or you go to the desk, and if you have an allergy, like you know, I'm allergic to peanuts. Yeah. And you put it in. They'll just there's something they're gonna sit you down, and you still bring it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
if you're like you want to take it to go, they'll put it in a bag and let you go. Okay, okay. But most of the time you sit, there's a waiter, like the person comes, you need any help with anything else, we'll clean the table. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like a restaurant. Oh, like, like okay. you can go in fast. If you wow, really that's tough. So tough. So, what, so would, tough. what were you comp- if that was in America? Like, what would that be in the fast food chain? Closest wise in terms of service, Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A service. Okay, okay. Yeah, leak farthest. Like in terms of food. Yeah, food wise. Like how good is food it? Food wise. Because I heard it's like healthy. Like it's low key. Yeah, like low- they, yeah, low key, little healthy. Everything out there is way healthier and change. Like ah. America, we as yeah. Sure. But yeah, it, um, I don't know. I really don't even know how to. Compl- I can't really say a chain, no chain that I really could think of. Like wow, that's how you know what I want to say is Dario's. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't feel like I was waiting for it. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was waiting for it. Niggas <laughs> just gonna say Dario's yeah. again, but niggas don't yeah. know. What, yeah, niggas don't know. Niggas will know Dario soon, bro. We talk about Dario's all the time on here, bro. Literally, Literally bro. Dario's. I had Dario's the other day. Yeah, I've had Dario's in a minute, but um, I went there. People in London, mad nice. Oh, really? Yo, nice people in the UK, very like super nice. Um, everybody's cool out there. Uh, they were like mad helpful. Uh, respectful. It was cool. So you don't tip people out there. You, they don't. You don't tip. That them pounds and British pounds are mad expensive. But so know. compared to dollars, is it more than a dollar? It's more. It's like one point five to oh, one. Oh shit! It's kind of max. So dang. I did some shopping out there. They had that Westfield Mall. That was huge. Yeah. Um, mad markets. Like if in London, like mad. Like there was like mad. You could get anything. Really. Like Camden Market, Borough Market. Uh, there's two other spots we went to. How it long did you so stay dope. in each country? I stayed in London most of my time. I stayed in Belgium for three days. I stayed in France for two days. Oh, so you was mostly in London for the whole mostly time? Mostly in London, yeah. Okay. Wait, did you get Belgian waffles? Come on, bro. I, that was next, bro. That was Belgium? No, bro, I went to Belgium, <laughs> and the first thing I said... First of all, when I was in France, I said I need to have fries, French fries, you and know, then... I don't think they came from France. France. I don't worry about that, man. I think it was like I think it came from Belgium. Fries? Yes, they did. Yeah, I think Belgium. But I don't know why I call them French fries. I had fries in, in Belgium too. Oh, you did? Bussin. Ah. Bussin. <laughs> but it was I had poutine. You know what poutine yeah, is? Yeah, yeah. But that's Canadian though. That's yeah, I had it in Canada too. Oh, tough. Tasted better in Belgium. Ah. But it was it was bussin. But I had um Belgian waffle, then I had French toast. In France. Wow. Um, that's I tough. Had, yeah, yeah. I had that's to, hard. I had to that's hard. Culture, that's I had to do it. Then, that's hard. Belgian waffles are OD. Yeah. They have them everywhere, but like they were good. They were mad good. I took some, I brought some. <sighs> what? You left your Belgian. I forgot to pack it. What? Your Belgian waffles? Yes. Where'd you leave it? I bought Belgian waffles. I think I forgot to bring it. Like f- to the States? To the, I bought it uh-huh. from Belgium. I said, I got to bring this back home. Uh huh. It was. Belgian waffles, they're they're totally different, like the packaging and shit. Oh, is it like frozen? Nah, they weren't frozen. They don't freeze them. Oh, so you could just like recook. I had them. And yeah, you, yeah. I, I had one. I just ate it raw. <laughs> raw. It's like sugar in them. It's oh, cool. oh, 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 okay. I know so I brought it and I think I left it. Damn. Left in what the hotel or some shit? I don't know. Damn. I don't know where it's at because it might be at my mom's. I don't know. Damn, that's tough. That's tough. It's tragic, but um, what else over there? Oh, yo, London, I don't know, but it, the sun don't shine over there. Oh, it's like really raining. All gloomy. Yeah. It's raining, really raining 24. The first week I was there, straight rain. Second week, all cold. And then the last weekend I was there, it was just cold. No sun. Sun never shined. I heard. I heard it don't rain out there. It was there. odd. So, I wasn't going for That's it, why niggas always wear trench coats and... I was trying to find a trench, but they was gatekeeping, bro. <laughs> they was, tell you where the I'm trench like, yo, is where at? do you guys find the trench coats, bro? Like, where is this London stuff at? And nobody was telling me, bro. Dang, they hoes, bro. Yeah, but I got some cool drip out there, though. I got a couple things. I got Okay, so yeah, you had a good experience out in Europe? Yeah, that was so dope. So I'll definitely go back to London and Belgium. Not France. Fuck France. I'm not, I won't. I refuse. Fuck Paris. We don't like the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, that shit was booty, too. That shit was ass. I went to the top. It was cool looking at the architecture, like the landscape. But Yeah, that shit wasn't all that. Statue see, of Liberty cooler. See, I think we we be miss we we don't be seeing the signs. Like I don't know if you're no that was was that Italy when uh when sweet you know sweet life of Zach and Cody like sweet life on deck mm-hmm. they like they be going all over the place. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if they went to Paris. I don't know if this is Paris or Italy when they went to the restaurant and that they was mad like mean as fuck. But yeah, I think yeah. that might have been Italy, but still nah, I no, I think it was friends. Paris. I think it was France. So we need to see the signs, bro. But bro. I never been to Europe before. I think the one place I want to go to in Europe. No, I want to go to two places. I want to go to Greece. 
And I want to go to Switzerland. I might go to Greece next year. Yeah. Yeah, I want to go to Switzerland too. I go to Swiss it's Alps. expensive as hell though. Oh, I you heard, told me. bro. I heard there because I heard Switzerland's like, like, like one of the richest like countries. Yeah, low key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like the Swiss Alps, bro. I heard this. I yo, I need to go out there, bro. I'm not gonna lie though. I went out there. Yeah, my entire experience. And one big thing that I took away from the entire thing. Yeah. America's the fucking best. I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. Wait, why? Wait, it's not even fucking close. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's not even close. Wait, bro. why do you say that, bro? Like. They have free healthcare. Great. They have some things that are better, like transporta- public transportation is way easier in London. Mm-hmm. But everybody's life looks so modern. Even doctors are on strike. What world do you know that doctors and Why healthcare the fuck workers are going on, to strike? Why are they on strike? They get the most... Uh, they don't. Over there, they don't. There's no health insurance. Like, you don't pay for health insurance. Because the way you was talking, I'm thinking... They, we, no, it's we amazing. Shady. But I'm like, I would never live over there. Ah, okay. I'm very happy I live here. Obviously, we have a lot of problems with our government. And shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you work hard, you go. Yeah, if you, you work you hard, can, you go. You go figure it out. Bums gonna be bums, but over there, I feel like you're work working hard hits a cap. Oh, was, really? Hey, like you, you're like even if you become whatever high status, unless you're a celebrity, it hits a certain point because it's so like equal. Like uh. so. But if you're at the lowest down, you're there's a certain point where you won't go lower than. No, okay, okay. Because everybody gets you know certain benefits and shit. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so, so like equal, like balances it itself out. Yeah, but like here, that's why I say land opportunity. Uh huh. It's either true. you can go skyrocket or you can be down at the bottom. At the bottom, the, yeah. The bottom of the bottom. You bottom. Can just keep you can going. be a crackhead. You yeah. Can <laughs> be allowed to be crackheads. That bro. is true. That is I, true. You know, I'd be taking the videos on my story, yeah. the weekly tweakers, the weekly tweakers. Yeah, like the weekly I, tweakers. Yeah, when I see them. Yeah, no, like I couldn't find any. There's no tweakers. Nah, there were some, but like one not of even them, in France. I thought there'd be more tweakers. Nah, in not even really in France. In London, bro, there was one in the photo book bugging out. <laughs> and I tried to record and my phone died. Dang. Then there was one guy. I didn't know he was a tweaker. He was in front of me in the escalator. And then I'm just standing there calling. Just, what the fucking shit? He starts punching like the thing. He starts jumping on the escalator. <laughs> I'm like, grab my phone. I pull it out. And then he turns around. I'm like, all right. Put it back in my pocket. <laughs> like, he's bugging. Yeah. Nigga's trying to catch him. Lacking. And he sprinted away. Really? Yeah, I wish I this got This is like in the mall or something? This was me coming out of train station. Oh, shit. Yeah, it was like me. <laughs> it was Max. It was Dig, Max. bro. But yeah, now nah, we're the best, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, shout out to America, bro. All my Americans, comment down below. Shout out to y'all, man. Yeah, bro. But dang, that's so funny, bro. Yeah. Like, I, I I liked it, though. I'll definitely go back. I just couldn't live over there, though. You couldn't? Yeah. I oh, I hooped out there. I told you. You was playing basketball out there? Bro, I hooped out there. Like, you was... like you I was, was telling killing these... Yo, y'all suck. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna lie. I went out there, so... Shout out to my boy Eward. Uh, we went out there and he was like trying to hoop, find a spot. And he was in a class with us. And he found some this gym. There was no courts outside. It was all like soccer courts. Yeah, yeah. We found a, a place to do an open gym. We went and we were playing. And at first, like, they were kind of giving it to me to post. They, no one was really feeding me the ball. Yeah. And then I finally got post. A, first thing I do, like, now he's like pushing me out, pushing me out. Spin and I move. Caught it. And I'm like, oh, he on my back. Huh? Spin. <laughs> and it, I think they thought I was ass after the first two games. Yeah. Spin, spun it at, and then he, why? Why are you jumping? He you dunked on the nigga. Dunked on him, two hands. What is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> Low key hit the ball too, but I be in the weight room for him. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I you feel me, but like OD, I had like four dunks and I dunked on niggas twice. It was OD. So this is like a gym that you so, found? Yeah, it was a gym. Some of the guys were pretty good though. Oh like, really? They were yeah, they were pretty good. They obviously like I mean they passed the ball more. Did you gel off of niggas? Um, I was to I was gonna talk shit, but the first game I didn't do that good, so I couldn't talk shit, and oh. I was out of shape. I was tired as hell. Uh so like, but yeah, after but the like niggas didn't ask you like, oh, did you play like D one? Uh, they heard my American accent, so they probably like oh, just suspected. I met a nigga from Rutgers. He's he, he's a Chinese dude. He goes to Rutgers, but he was visiting his homie. Shout out to my boy Oscar. Oscar, you may never see this, but Oscar, if you see this, <laughs> please, bruh. Like find me, bro. I like Oscar. He goes to Rutgers. He was like, cause I was, wor- I yeah. went with my whole practice gear. I go out to. You. I brought my whole practice. It'd be gear. like that though. You feel me? I had like to that. rep the set. Real so shit, like, real shit. I came out there and then he was like, you you go to Rutgers? And I was like, yeah. He's like, me too. I said, you not in my class. Like, <laughs> and then he was like, he's a junior and whatnot. So he was. Oh, he was like he up. like he went. Oh, we went over there. No, he goes to Rutgers. He's he lives in China. Yeah. But he came. To, he went to London to visit his friend, friend who lives in London. Yeah, he just so happens to go to Rutgers and runs like, 
Does he go like like he's gonna come? Is he? Is he's he, here now. He's oh, here now. Okay, okay, okay. okay yeah, okay. but like he just ran into each other. Oh, that's. Tough. I always see somebody from Jersey. Like it doesn't make sense when I travel. But, hey, bro. Yeah, bro. Sim. <laughs> Shit, fake, bro. Uh, that's tough though. Shout out Oscar, like, bro. If you're watching this, I hope boy. you're watching this. Hey, you never know. Nigga from TCMJ watched it. Told him the pop. Hey, one day, bro. Hey, one day, niggas just gonna start look up to us, be like, yo, no regulars. Be like, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Type shit. Type, <laughs> shit. Type shit. But oh, so I got I got a the topic we could talk about. We got sports because we haven't talked about sports in a minute on this podcast. And you, you, Corey, UJ, the main niggas I talk about sports because y'all be knowing what y'all talking about. You know Real quick, am I selling if I drink two energy drinks? Nigga, I'm drinking two. Oh, you about to drink both? Yeah, we up, bro. All right, up all night, bro. Well, what time? Is, what time is the game tomorrow? I'm not going. <laughs> this nigga's a fake I'm a coach and shit. Yeah. Nigga's a fake coach. Nigga just chooses when to go. Dude, how much I, you get, I didn't even tell coach. You said what? How much you get paid? Um, Unlimited. Uh, infinity money. So, like, even, Say if no. go, even if you don't go, like... No, nah, I have paid. to go, like, three days a week. But, I mean, if I don't go three days a week, coach on trip, but... Nah, like, so... I shouldn't disclose this on the pod. Blanket. But, yeah. but yeah, yeah, blanket. But, um, nah, so, like, every two weeks, I get, like, 560... Oh, that's not bad. Every two weeks, it's solid as fuck. But I go like three days a week. Coach told me like, try make at least three practices a week, or be there three days a week. I'm usually there a little more. Yeah, yeah. I just missed three weeks or because I had the study abroad, so yeah. I try to. So right now I'm up. here every day. Yeah, but I'm going yeah. to DC tomorrow. Yeah, I know you told me. Yeah. So Wait, what are you going to? This nigga be traveling all over the fucking place. How many? How many times you been on a plane this year? What is it? Oh, this well, or in the last three sixty five days type shit like. Yeah, in the last like. Yeah, in the last 365 days. Not like as in like 2024, just in general. This is not as good as that. Oh, that oh my God. Happen. Wait, hold up. I told you it's the aftertaste. The aftertaste be be hitting, bro. Tastes like a real peach. Like a real peach. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. That shit tastes like a real fruit. Like bro. a real guava? Like, yes. Like, <laughs> it tastes like I peeled it and like took a bite. Yo, I'm saying. Like randomly. Like, that shit's yeah, weird. Yeah, I was like, why is this peachy as hell? Wow, but, bro, that shit's mad weird. But, um, no. So, um, what was the question you said? Uh, How many times I travel? So. I went to I went to London. I took a train when I went to Belgium and France. Yeah, it's so yeah, cool. it's all connected. And then I went to um, I flew to North Carolina in October. Then in August I went to Seattle. Five. Then in July I went to Virginia. Six. And then in June I went to Vegas. Seven. And then I hope you I hope you're like you have like mileage points. Oh OD. Of course. Bro, I, got, I got that United Yep. Uh, United yep. Yeah, United card. You yep. know what I'm saying? I'm in that. We got <laughs> and that bitch too, bro. And, that bitch too. and then uh before that Oh, I was playing basketball. We had yeah, a season, yeah. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> so seven. So this is your eighth place probably. What are you gonna yeah. what are you I'm going? about to drive to DC. We're driving. Wait, who? Uh, my sister, she about to pick us up tomorrow. Oh, where y'all? They're just going down there and just like... My cousin is having a birthday party, so... Ah. Uh, we're about to go. She's taking me, my sister, and my other cousin, so we're going. Okay, okay, okay. So we're going down there, but... That's tough, that's tough. But I want to talk about... So, the NFL playoff is going around, and the NBA, uh, what's it called? All-Star Games are getting picked. So, who are your picks for the NBA All-Star Game? Who you think is gonna make it? I think uh, Derek White's about to get some dick right. So nah, there's no way. I don't nah, he's about to get mad dick game. right. He's gonna do it. Remember nah. how um, Andrew Wiggins was a starter? But like that's because niggas was hurt though. I'm not jacking it. I'm jacking that they are just meat riding, and they need somebody. And they're like, what's what's their uh, seat in the East or the West? First, yeah. Jason Tatum's gonna make it. Who? Are you th- All right, what's Derek the East, What's the East starters? Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum. Giannis onto the Frico. Giannis. His brother's mid. He's I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm better than him. <laughs> Look, yeah. You be you be seeing his mixtape? His low light tape? Yeah. Those shits is bad. <laughs> oh, I feel yo, the, the NAS is bruh. If you wanna hop on the pod, I've been seeing you going on a lot of, he's, a lot of podcasts. He's more athletic than me. He's more athletic than you. Yeah. But you probably beat me up. <laughs> but I think I'm better than him. <laughs> like I don't. Yeah, I think I'm better. Bro, than him. I'm sorry. Like it just it just looks so bad. It looks bro. horrible, bro. Whoever made that is an evil nigga because he went through a lot of tape looking for that shit. Yo, he don't be in the gym. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> nah, I'm mine. He be in the gym with Giannis. Yeah, he rebounds for Giannis. Yeah, rebounds. Yeah, rebounds. 
He don't work in his craft. He don't need to. Nigga, how much you, what do you think his salary is? Hold on. Let me look up his salary. As long as Giannis has a job, that man will have a job. Oh, my gosh. Wherever Giannis goes, he's going. Yeah. Uh, let's see what his salary is. Salary, he is making $1.7 million. Wow. $1.7 million. So whatever Giannis's contract is, everybody, Deducted? you just got to add seven? one point seven. <laughs> because you gotta pay his brother too, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking wild. How old is this nigga? This nigga is thirty one. He He's old as shit. Fucking booty. Uh, oh. but so Giannis, Jason Tatum, Jason Tatum, Giannis, Embiid, Joel Embiid is gonna be a starter for sure. Jalen Brunson, he's not gonna start. Ty- Tyrese kind of hurt right now. He's injured. Yeah, you think he pulled his hamstring or some shit? Low key though, who else would be a two? Who else would be the two? Donovan Mitchell. Man, fuck Donovan Mitchell. All right, so it'll be Donovan Mitchell and Tyrese Halliburton, probably. Halliburton's starting. Okay. He's starting. Okay. So for the West, I think. So we go, we go, so West Jokic? Uh, yeah. Braun? Dad? <laughs> um, um. What's that motherfucker called? You think Luca? Yeah, Luca. Luca SGA. Oh, Shy Gillis Alexander, yep. for sure. And I'm missing one. There's a key person that we're missing. And don't you any uh, comment Wemby. If I see the comment Wemby Yama, I'm going to lose my shit. Nah, he's Please. not making it. I'd rather Chet over him, though. Chet way Chet's better. Chet's better. Uh, AD? Nah, I don't think AD would be nah. forward. LeBron again. KD? Um, KD? Probably. KD averaging like 28. Kevin. Kevin's, he's Kevin. He has a clout. He's a... He just, he just cuz. Probably Braun at the three. Yeah, Kevin Durant four. Jokic at the five. Mm-hmm. Steph? Eh, maybe. It depends. It'd be weird. I think it's coming out like in two weeks. I think it's coming in two weeks. And then, well, who who's the other guards that are not? Darren Fox. Darren Fox. But he's, he's definitely coming off the bench. You think so? Yeah. Over SGA and Luka, they both averaging 30. What's their seed? But they're, SGA, SGA is, is two. the two. Luka's the fifth. They're five. Luka might come off the bench. Nah, because the Kings is like seven. In the, in the West? I thought yeah. they were like three. Nah, I don't think so. Wait, let me check. And the Mavs are like what? I think fifth. Um, Conference standings. It is... The Kings are... Oh, shit. Wait, no. This is the East. The Kings are... Yeah, the Kings are seventh. The Mavericks are six. So... We'll see, bro. Oh, you want you want another one before I start killing him, bro? Nah, you good, you good. But we'll see how we'll see how the NBA goes. Did, but but yeah, I think Darren. Yeah, nah. Okay. I don't, you think Luca? I think Luca, because Luca averaging like is the second leading scorer in the NBA right now. Oh shit! He's okay. like averaging like thirty two points a game, and then uh. Shea's averaging like thirty. This is a crazy league. Imagine like every day, like you can't you can't stop these things from scoring thirty. You're just gonna have to get thirty on you. They're averaging thirty. They're averaging thirty, so you're not if gonna be able to stop. They twenty. Them. You had a, you had you played great defense. Yeah, play great defense, but like you're not gonna hold niggas under ten, bro. Um, like there's no way, there's no way to hell, bro. And I feel like they do that on purpose. I feel like the the referees are like calling it close so niggas could get t- so yeah. it's more scoring and shit like that. I got a little controversial thing about what the NBA. I don't think Embiid is gonna win uh, anything in the playoffs. You don't think so? He scores a lot of his points off of free throws, mm-hmm. and historically, most of the players who score off of free throws, majority of their points, don't end up winning in the playoffs because when they have to rely on their actual scoring, like mm-hmm. field goals, they don't score 40, 50. They're not doing it. Yeah. Because the refs in the playoffs are not calling as many fouls. They don't call as many fouls. And plus, the the def- you're playing a team, what, four times in a row max, so they can just keep trying new defenses on you and just throwing exactly. new shit at you. Let's see. But they're not going to call as many fouls. That's true. So those fouls are used to like he's used to like, oh shoot, I got fouled, throwing it up. Now he gets two free throws. Mm-hmm. He's gonna do that, and now he's gonna, you know, what I'm saying now he's gonna settle. Low key though, because as of right now, if the playoffs were to start right now, they're the third seed, so they'll play the Pacers, right? So, and then if they beat the play the Pacers, they'll play either the Bucks or like the Heat. And low key, and B could fry the Bucks. Low key, lowest of keys. Low key, may like, because the Bucks don't really play that much defense. Wait, did we say bro- no, Halliburton? You said Bucks. The Bucks don't play D. Uh, Damn, Dame's not starting. No, Dame has. 
Nah, they. Oh, nah, they might start. They might start just a popularity because you know it's fifty fifty. Yeah. They just need. It's not even two. Over who? Over who? Over who? Uh, Donovan Mitchell probably. It's all popularity at the end of the day. It's fifty fifty. So whoever, it doesn't really matter. Like the coaches pick the the bench players at the end. So it really don't really matter too crazy. Yeah. But I'm saying like if the if they make it to the second round, they could possibly beat the Bucks. I don't know if they're gonna pass the Celtics because the Celtics is od. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think they're even gonna do that. You don't think so? The Knicks could make it pretty far, low key. The Knicks not. Uh, bro, can you relax? What? You getting your hopes up? Bro, you not excited? For what What the fuck am this I This is the best we've been playing in so long. We won eight of the last ten games, bro. No, and, wait. And then Julius Randle going to start Julius Randling. I know, but like, I don't think it could happen this year because we have niggas that are efficient around him. No, bro. I feel, cause I feel like RJ was holding a nigga back, bro. No, RJ's fucking garbage. I'm yeah. so glad we got rid of him. Hell yeah. He was, I, I feel like we're one trade away. One away. What are we going to tra- We need to get rid of Randle. I would. I'm not mad at it. I like Hartenstein, but like, who would you get back for Randall? Nobody wants him. Exactly. Like, there's nowhere Nobody to. Nobody wants that man. Like, there's nothing to get back. We for don't that. want that man. We have to wait for his contract. This is the last year in the contract, right? I think next year. We got one more year left. I feel like I think they renewed it. That's why. Renewed it. Yeah, like last year. Why would we like took his option? Mm-hmm. Right, that was foolish. Third team All NBA, bro. I'm a, I'm a Randall hater though. I'm not. I just, I just get mad when the nigga doesn't stop giving effort. He does that every playoffs. Now nah, he's got he's gotten better. I, I know I got we gotta see this playoffs. We gotta see. As long as you Brunson's give me effort, my, Brunson's my guy. Oh no, Brunson's the greatest. He's the savior, my nigga. He's the savior. He is the savior, bro. I don't think we're gonna. I don't think. Yeah. Second round at least. We can beat the Cavs. Cavs type fucking. No, dude. we can beat the Cavs, but no, it's dead for all that. How do you think for the NFL though? NFL, uh, shout out to my boy Lamar. I talked to him on the phone and shit. He said he's locked in. We're good. And you called it at the beginning of the year. You did I say, say it, Lamar Jackson for MVP. You did say that. And what did they say to me? <laughs> I said this. I said, first thing I said was, like, way back when, I said, Marcus Smart, deep point. You did. That, that, was, that was weird. Niggas laughed at me. And then he won deep point. Yep. I said, Lamar Jackson, MVP. Oh, uh, he's coming off injury. He's a. I saw y'all in the comments. Try to cook me. Tell him, uh, he's a running back in uh, Lamar Jackson, MVP. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you. I'm telling you right now, if we beat the Texans, we're on the Super Bowl. Ooh. Only time we're going to lose is if we, yo, <laughs> you're a hater. <laughs> Only time we're going to lose is if it's to the Texans. CJ Stroud, he the savior, bro. I think the Texans are really good. One, but One and only. <clears throat> Lord, the savior. I think Lamar's locked in. And I don't think it's gonna happen, but um, who? Oh wait, who would y'all got to go through afterwards? Either the Chiefs or the the Bills. I would love to play the Chiefs. Chiefs are free, All but right. they're gonna lose to the Bills. You think Bills so? are gonna beat up on them? Um, I think, I think we beat the Bills too. You think so? Yeah, I think we beat the. The Bills, Bills are pretty hurt. I'm not gonna I lie; they're all fucked up. And I was gonna say the line, got no linebackers. on that side, Green Bay plays 49ers. I think the 49ers, 49ers are gonna beat them. It's gonna be a close game. I think the 49ers are gonna beat them. Yeah. Or and actually it might be a blowout, but 49ers win. Lions and Lions play Bucks. the Bucks. No, Lions don't play the Bucks. Yeah, they do play they the play Bucks. They play the Bucks. Yeah. Lions about to uh most cut beat the Bucks up. They have they're just too too good. Lions offensively. Yo, look at the Lions, bro. Doing good. Doing great. Niggas and just laughing stuck. What's the other team? There's one more. No, nah, that was it. That was it. There's only four left. It's a divisional round. It's Lions, Bucks, uh, 49ers, and Texans, Te- Ravens. Texans, oh, Ravens. Oh, Chiefs. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Because the Cowboys and the Eagles shit the bed. Yeah. Well, the Cowboys, we knew this, though. This yeah, is fucking this is suck. Never, and the Eagles. It's just they Jaylen. shat the bed. I told them Jalen Hurts was bro. I told them Jalen Hurts was there. Good. <laughs> I told them. I know what you want to listen Hey, bro, you ain't letting it lie, bro. But don't be surprised if they get the MVP to Christian McCaffrey. Dang. Because Lamar be... Jackson is black. <laughs> I said it. Hey, we're saying it on the pod right now, bro. NFL is racist. What's his name? Uh kind of heavy. Let me try some. Mm, muddy buddy. Let me try this shit. Some big muddies, bro. Hmm. Heard this shit bust. Try it, muddy. Yeah. But I got a question to ask you, right? So we're talking about sports. Everybody talks about the greatest people of all time for basketball. The greatest point guard, shooting guard, center, whatever. But niggas never talk about the second best. So now we're going to see the first, the greatest of all time, versus the runner-up. 
who's better. All right? Mm. Each position? Each position. Mm. So, first position, we got point guards. We got Magic versus Steph Curry. We're talking straight one-on-one. No accolades. None of that. Who's winning? You should bust. Magic. Lo- nah, low-key. Curry giving that nigga hell, bro. Curry cooking that nigga. Loser gets ball. We can do loser gets ball. If loser gets ball in one-on-one. Magic. No. Magic plays center. Bro, Curry's going to be making straight twos. Bro, look. He is not guarding Curry, bro. That doesn't mean... Oh, twos count. Yeah, twos and one. Oh, Magic Johnson guard. The 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 man is 6'8". Bro, he has never seen a nigga like Curry before, bro. He hasn't. That nigga Isaiah Thomas was not Curry. He should bust. But Curry don't got no screens. Fuck that nigga. He, got- he can take some ones. He can go and get some buckets, right? But check this. Uh-huh. He's going to miss one. Mm-hmm. And Magic is just going to post him up and back him down. I don't know, bro. Magic going to kill him. Game 16? I think Curry's winning that Close one. game. Magic wins. All right. Let me know. Let us has, know in the comments. He has length, bro. The length don't mean nothing. High the hands. Shot, you know Curry be shooting over those, bro. He's... He don't <laughs> care. He said high hands. <laughs> over those, bro. He don't, Magic don't care about none of that, bro. You know... Magic don't care about I him. think he can. Magic bro. played center. This is a center. Guarding him. You know what He's happens? Agile. You know what happens when centers guard, <coughs> centers guard Curry? This is an agile center. Oh, he's an agile center. Point center. I don't know, bro. If it's a seven game series, I feel like it'll go to seven. And Curry's. It's basically like LeBron. Three. It's basically LeBron. Less athletic LeBron, and can't shoot. Well, he's not. But yeah. you know, twos is better than ones, bro. You know that twos is better. He'll than... make a couple. But Magic will not not score. He's never Magic will never miss. I know, but like he's gonna outscore him based on like the shot. Like you know, twos is over. Two every over time one. Magic gets a ball, it's a make. Every not time. every time. He's, he's Curry goes. He's six eight. Okay, Curry Curry six like like six three six four maybe. Nah, he's six, he's six, this three. man will post him up. Hook shot. I don't know. But I I think Curry got him in seven. But the he, next one is MJ versus Kobe. These niggas like can't I. Lowest the keys if they ever played a one on one and they primes, I feel like Kobe might cook him. Not cook him, but I feel like Kobe might might win that one. I think D Wade beats MJ. That's but a crazy. That's a that's a crazy saying. D Wade is D Wade is very fast and quick to call him the flash. Yeah. MJ's quick or whatever, but he's not going. I don't think he guards him. Dwayne Wade. Dwayne. Are we doing are we doing eighties rules where they can hand check? You can follow them all you want. It's still Dwayne Wade. No, nah, I don't You're know. Not catching him. Maybe Harden. No, Harden. Harden is not. Harden doesn't even. Hang, Harden can't guard nothing. D Wade yeah, first team true. all defense. He lead, he leads all guards and blocks. So you think so you think Dwayne Wade over like both of them? Both of them. Yeah. Not Kobe, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Niggas is crazy. Not Kobe, bro. Over the dead nigga, yeah. <laughs> All right, how about LeBron versus Bird? LeBron. This is easy. Le- LeBron. LeBron is frying that white man. That white man not going to know have, what You have Bird as second best? Who else would be? Dr. J? Kevin Durant? Nah. Nah, I'll say Larry, though. Accolade wise in general. Or Dr. J. Actually, I personally think Dr. J. Because Larry had three MVPs, three finals MVPs, three NBA, like five, was it, four MVPs? Dr. Championship? J had Afro. Fuck that. Larry Bird had the mullet. Mm. And short shorts. And Dr. Was, J did this shit. What do you mean? Larry Bird shot that bitch over the backboard. And he dimed that. He got... Dr. J is called the doctor. He operates. Larry Bird shot... He got a rebound, assist, and lit a bucket in one play. How is that possible? Dr. J was the first person to dunk. He was not the first person to dunk. Prove it. Daryl Dawkins. You know ah. Daryl Dawkins. No, he played with him. Okay, but he wasn't the first one. No, nah, he was first. <laughs> Nick is sick, bro. Imagine what the white people said when the black guy dunked. This Nick. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is he doing? Get He's that good. monkey off the rip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Tim Duncan versus Carl Malone. I feel like Tim Duncan, if it wasn't for the rings, he's like Loki overrated. Meat ride. Um, Low key. Nah. Very. I, maybe it's just because this game's so bland. It's not cool. Tim Duncan's always had help, though. That's what I'm saying. 
I mean, Karl Malone gets spoon fed. No, Karl Malone's gonna. No, but Karl Malone is a center for real. So he's killing Tim. He's killing Tim Duncan. Shoulder dunk. But Tim Duncan's low, low key played center at one point. Exactly. Well, not exactly, but he's like the Tim Karl Malone Dun- weighs two hundred and fifty thousand. Yeah, that's true. Tim he's Duncan weighs two hundred and thirty thousand. You know what I'm saying? Like he's, he's, gonna, he's gonna bully that nigga. Yeah. Did Tim Duncan ever win defensive player of the year? I don't think so. Mm-mm. He's first team on defense though. Yeah, like eight times, like a hundred times. Hold on, let me see Tim Duncan's average. He didn't score more points than Malone. Hell no. I don't know. He averaged nineteen points a game. Wow, that's kind of mid. Wait, what's his what's his most points? The most points he ever scored was twenty five. That's it, Tim. Doesn't think Loki over twenty five and twelve? I guess. It was just because when he was a when he was a rookie, he won an NBA championship. That's low key why. Mm. That shit, I think I feel like that shit weighs heavy on niggas. Wait, Tim? No, second year in the league, he brought him to the championship. I think two nineteen ninety. Yeah, with Dave with Dave uh, Robinson, yeah, or second or third, one of those shits. Yeah, on his rookie contract, regardless. Real shit, making sixty k, six hundred k. And I think you're about to say two centers, and I'm about to say one of them is not the best. But go ahead, Kareem versus Shaq. I don't think Kareem's top two. What, are you going to say Hakeem? Nope. Not even Hakeem. Wait. Two-time MVP, one-time champion. Jokic? Yeah, bro. Nah, you're bugging. Nah, not over Hakeem, bro. He's the best passing big ever. Okay, but like, Hakeem is one of the best like defensive one bigs right. ever. No MVPs. He has an MVP. He has one MVP? Yeah, maybe sure? two. I think two. I don't think he has one, bro. No, he has one. Yes, he does. He has one? He has. He, bro, he almost had the clean slate. He was just second in scoring. He has that nigga led. The, he was second in scoring. He got a defensive player of the year, MVP, Finals MVP, NBA championship. He ever averaged a triple double? No. Ah. Jokic never averaged a triple double in the league. You bet? It wasn't a triple. He didn't do double. that last year. No, it wasn't a triple MVP double. MVP year. He didn't do that. Hold on. His second MVP. Let me see. Let efficient. Me see. An efficient triple double. Let me see. He's averaging right now. That, does that? No, it's. He's averaging twenty five, eleven, and nine. Last year he averaged. 24.5, 11. 11.8, 9.8. 9.8 9. 8 is a triple. Nah, 9.8. Yo, what? Yo, nigga. <laughs> I don't see that 10 on there. Yeah. <laughs> Some nigga sold his bag. Some nigga sold his Some, bag. Some, yo, I'm not going to lie. Like, but he does, he does shoot six, 63% from the field is OD. Elijah Wan never did that. That's true. He, he probably never even averaged five or six. I'm not going to lie. But all right, if you, if you, even if you put Shaq versus Jokic, Shaq is killing that nigga. You're right. I don't think nobody's stopping that nigga. Sh- the only nigga that stopped Shaq is Shaq, bro. If you want to be honest, nobody ever really stopped. Maybe Yao Ming on the lowest keys, but still. Maybe me. Saying, uh, Shaq uh, killing you, Shaq's, bro. I actually will die. Like uh, you will get hurt. <laughs> that elbow to the rib cage. No. <laughs> like that shit is gonna hurt, bro. That's a big arm right yeah, there. Yeah, no, nobody. Yeah, <clears throat> Shaq wins that. Okay, okay. Now I was seeing that because I was looking on TikTok. There was niggas talking about that shit. Yeah. But, hey, man. I'm saying. You think Curry will ever pass Magic as number one point guard? In yeah. All time? He's about to. You think he's about to? He got four rings. He does have four rings. He's not getting he's not winning another one. They asked him. Magic, guys. how much Magic got? Five. Five. Yeah. LeBron. How much you got without Kareem? Two. Two or three. Two or three, I think. Because he won one when he was a rookie by himself. What? Magic won rookie? He won, yeah. That's when he played center. Godly. That's OD. Niggas, nigga did the tip ball and brought the ball up. Give it back. Yeah, that's what happened, bro. Real nigga. As soon as you can, that's when he beat Bird, bro. His first year. Yeah, he beat Bird. That, there was, I think, was it Bird? This nigga's the best ever. I think it was either Bird or, or or um the Pistons. When did Magic win first ring? Nineteen eighty. Uh, he scored 42 points, 15 rebounds, 7 assists. Oh, no. Kareem was always on his team. Kareem was there first. He he came in, though. Yeah. Uh, he won at 20 years old against... Who the fuck did he play? Magic? I don't know who the fuck he played. Yeah, I don't know who the fuck they played. But, dang. Damn, they showing this nigga's family. EJ Johnson. Union Farmers. That's his. Uh, That's his nah. son, bro. Nah. Nigga's about to tweak. <laughs> hey, bro. Oh, why am I going on his Instagram? Let me get out of there. 
Before this, my this is the family iPad. Right. Like, what the fuck are you looking <laughs> like, at? Yo, what are you doing on the pod? <laughs> but oh, I, I got another topic we can talk about. So I don't know if we. I got scary stories. From athletes. I got one after. Oh, you do? Oh, it's not from athlete, but I got one. Oh, you got one? All right. So, I have this one NBA... So, this is one of the biggest NBA mysteries that nobody has ever saw what happened. Okay. So, do you... So, basically, one of Michael Jordan's teammates, when he won the championship, went missing at sea, and nobody knows what happened to him. Or they think... So, Michael Jordan's ex-teammate got lost at sea... But it came back as like a murder. Like he got murdered out sea. Who murdered him, Mike? Nah. It's, it's, it's even worse. What? So basically, the nigga's name was Bison De- uh, Deli. For, he was first round pick, top 10 pick, got drafted by the Magic. And then he won a ring with Michael Jordan in 1997. Mm-hmm. And then I think he got, he went to the Detroit or the, the Detroit Pistons and got, a uh, at the time, max contract. Like he was the highest ba- paid player on the Pistons. I think he got like a four-year, $45 million contract. So, but in I think in 1999, he retired from the NBA because he said he don't want to play basketball no more. So, he was like, he was one of those guys that like traveling the world and shit like that. Mm-hmm. So, him and his girlfriend bought a boat and they was, they was going to sail across like the Pacific to go to different islands and shit. Mm-hmm. So, the first one, they was going to Hawaii. So, they invited, it was him. Why would you do that? Bro? What, uh, leave the NBA? No, like you got a boat to go on yourself, like... Get a company, but go ahead. Hey, bro, he he got it. It was a, it was, it was basically him, his girlfriend, the captain, and he invited his brother. His brother's name was Miles Dobert or Domart, but his name was his brother's name was Miles. And supposedly, his brother was very jealous of all of his of his success. Like he was jealous about him the whole time. So, I you guess I, it was July eighth when they like. His family lost contact with him. Like they never spoke. Like they haven't spoke to him like a couple of weeks. Like they haven't heard from him. And but then his brother ended up in Tahiti with the boat on July twentieth. So like, but like there was he was the only person left on the boat, and like everybody else was gone. Everybody else was gone. Different. Nobody know what happened until they found they found his brother in Phoenix trying to get a hundred thousand dollars worth of gold under his brother's name that went missing. So they arrested him in Phoenix, and basically what the brother said was that that they had an altercation out at the sea, and he had to he killed his brother like he shot his brother because he tried to kill him, like out of out of self defense. But then they was wondering what happened to like everybody else. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. So, but before they he could even see if his story was true, he killed himself. He committed suicide. Like he gave himself. He overdosed on insulin pills. So what they think happened was he thinks that he got on the boat. And he killed his brother and then killed the witnesses, the captain and his girlfriend, and left them both, left them all at sea. And then just went to Tahiti and just tried to cover up everything. He tried to get all the gold and try to like cover up everything. Because, like, you know, when yeah, you got to leave, you know, when you go to that to sea, you're never going to find them bodies again. Yeah, you never, you never. You so, never niggas would never know what happened if mm-hmm. it was really for self defense or if he really just tried to kill his brothers. Yeah, there's no way. You're like, damn it. But think about it. Nigga was NBA champion two years prior, and he's just like, you know, I don't want. He didn't want. He didn't like basketball. Anymore. He was like, a, like them little artsy type of guys that likes. Type mid though. Yeah, he was balling though. You, like, you in the league? Nigga was like, this shit too easy. He basically said this shit too easy. Free ring, free ring, free too ring. easy. And then got fucking. Done a, that's look. I ain't gonna lie, brothers, low key tough. Be your own brothers, bro. Bro, the brothers, low key is thinking crazy though. No, he set out on a boat. Niggas never going. He low key almost. You gotta come back. I know, but like he he did ask by trying to use his brother's name to get the gold. Get your own gold. That's what I'm saying. Like nigga, if you or you you gotta like fix sink the boat or something. Like I don't know where they're at. You can make your way back. He ain't had no plan, bro. He's a little stupid. Nah, I mean, if if, I would have killed him. He could have. He could have. He could have played it a lot. (laughs) He could. He could have played it a lot more safer. He could have. But. Yeah. He almost had it. That's that, the idea. Why are we talking about? That? That's kind of crazy. We're yeah. saying we're saying this murder. Yo, this is how you do it, bro. Let me teach you how to murder somebody properly. He could have did it way easier, bro. He could have just he could have did it, killed them, right? Got some marks on his face. Have the boat sink. You know what I'm saying? Like everything went down. The boat crashed, but I made it. I'm the only person. Mm-hmm. Hey, man. But yo, and oh, I got I got one more other story that it has to deal with. Um, so basically, you know NBA Jam, right? Mm-hmm. So when NBA Jam first came out, 
it came out in 1993. So ba- so basically, the whole story is that NBA Jam, when it first came out, was cursed. Oh, no. Like the arcade game. Yeah. So, this shit was actually type weird. So it came out in 1993. You know, it came out with a little arcade games. You know mm-hmm. how NBA Jam is, like how mm-hmm. the announcers say people's names. But yeah. 1993, that was the same year where Drazen Petrovic got into a car accident. He died. He died. Yes. And uh, he played for the, the Nets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he... Shooter. Shoot. Shooter, bro. He yeah. had... Like that year prior, he had his career highs and everything averaging yeah, 22. he played in Newark. Low key, bro. Nigga just There's signed a, a max contract, but he passed away in a car accident, right? Damn. So literally after that, like the game came out after before he died. Okay. So after he died... Like, you know when you're when the um game is idle, like nobody's playing? Yeah. So when the game was idle, like the it had every game had a glitch where it kept saying his name over and over again. Like it was, it was like Petrovich? Yeah, Petrovich. Pet because you know how NBA Jam when somebody dunces, they say the yeah. last name. It just kept so saying if his you last just name. Sat there, we just kept saying Petrovich. Yeah, Petrovich. Petrovich. like randomly. Like random times of the day. And people started getting creeped out. Even the developers got creeped out because they didn't know what was going on. And they even took him out the game. And years later, it still kept saying his name for all the all the jams, all the jams, bro. For a couple years, it kept saying it until they had to actually put a code in, like yo, yeah. Like, don't but say nobody that. knows what the like where it came from. It's a ghost, bro. He's bro, like, that's bro. freaking weird. Imagine, nigga. That's too Petrovic. Co- Wait, what was that? And it just keeps saying it's just it's Petrovich. like it's like glitched out, bro. Petrovic for three. Oh, that's Max. Nah, I was I heard that. Sh- that's Petrovic why I, drives to the wreck. That? That's, that's why that ghost shit, bro. I don't really like that. Like I told I told you, bro. I be thinking my crib is low key a little haunted, cause. Did I tell you what? I I didn't tell I didn't tell niggas. My mom told me this uh, a couple of days ago. What? No. No, what no. I don't I don't know what. I, she didn't see nothing. But so so we say we have a little troll in the house. That takes shit and like, cause stuff randomly goes missing. And my mom be like, "Ah, right, you know, if, if I don't find nothing, it's gonna pop up in a couple months because somebody took it." So right, so me, so recently I was I was washing clothes, right? Yeah. But I, you know, them little uh, like uh, those beads or whatever, mm-hmm. like the little uh, uh, what's that called? Detergent beads that like you put yes. in the shit. Yeah. So I don't use that at all because I don't know how to. I don't know what to like. How much is supposed to? So I don't yeah. touch that. I just <laughs> use a regular detergent. Yeah. So my mom comes up to me. She was like, she was like, Darius. Did you put the detergent beads in the little, like, you know how there's like a little hole in the washing machine? Yeah. She said, did you put that in there? You know you're not supposed to put that in there. I was like, I didn't touch that. <laughs> she was like, what you mean you didn't touch it? I was like, I didn't uh, I put nothing those. in there. She was like, because your dad said he didn't touch it, and I didn't touch it, Man, and your lying, sister bro. don't wash clothes, yeah. so you had to touch it. I was like, I swear I didn't do it. Nah, your dad lying, bro. I don't know, bro. He be, he, there's some, I don't know what's in this crib. Nah, I go like, it's OD. Bro, I don't know who, I didn't, I swear I did not put nothing bro, yeah, in there. I, yeah, yeah, I didn't check like under underground, bro. No, I don't, bro. There's a cane in my basement. I ain't never touched cane? that thing, bro. A cane, like you know, a walking cane. It's like, For, it's like on the, it's on the, on the pipes. I ain't never touch it, bro. You sleep in the dark, bro. Hell, no, I got that lamp on every time. I'm petrified of the dark. I'm scared of shit of the dark. I I had a nightlight till I was in high school. Damn. I had a I had a train nightlight. I had, that shit was right here, bro. Like you talking about until you was a grown ass man, bro. I I don't. You like still the, sleep in the light. I do. Like, the lamp is always on. Bro, I bet you your girl not afraid of the dark, bro. She, yo, if... if Why is she shaking her head? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I <laughs> but if she's you. with me, I can sleep in the dark. I'm cool. Yo, you're mad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool. As long as my girlfriend can protect me. <laughs> no, no. I just need to know. I'm good. Because I don't... I don't like, if I'm by myself and I hear some shit, I know that's not me. But if I hear some shit, it could be her. So I'm cool then. If shit go left, I'm going to I'm going to have to save niggas. Nah, you about to die. Nah. <laughs> I'm, I always prepare myself. <laughs> I always prepare myself. Shit nah, go you left, got. you got to say you got you got to find a way, bro. Find nah. a way out. Nah, bro. Cuz you never know, yo, what it is about the dark. You're not scared of the dark itself. You're scared of what is inside the dark. No, 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 this is just you. No, nah, like you nah, have, I know no one's afraid of you. Like you never have like a fear of like if you walk out the car and somebody just like full sprints at you. Nah, I, I've never, that's a new one. That's a new one. I never got out the whip and said, I hope someone doesn't run at me. <laughs> like, yo, just think about it, right? You, you're walking at your car, at your crib. Like towards my car or away No, from no, you, you just, you're, you're getting out your car. You just, you just park your car. You're getting out your car. Like say you're at your street and you're not in Newark, no lights. And then you just see somebody full sprint. Like in union. In union. Somebody full sprinting at you. Like you turning around. I'm not going to lie. I'll be scared. I have this weird, like odd, it's not a good sense of, like. Confidence on on my block where I live. Yeah, I literally every time like I get out my car, like I'm loud as hell. Like, what do you? I do? just feel 
ultra safe on my blog. So you just scream like, yes. It's specifically that word, yes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like sometimes I get out, like type shit, you feel me? Like I just scream it. Or like I'll get out singing a song. I never feel, I don't ever feel like I'm in danger on my block. But like what, like I remember. I, like I got out of my car and I see like somebody who's not supposed to be there. And I see, I'm like, what is this nigga doing on the block, bro? Like he, <laughs> even if he looks sus, like I'm like, I see a nigga who's homeless just walking down. I'm like, bro, I'm about to kick him. Like what is he doing walking down? Cause I don't know. I feel safe. You. Bro, I feel, I feel safe, but I just, nah. like, yo, if a nigga pull up on me like that, like imagine you walk in the car, you hear footsteps. You're not going to get startled. Nah, I'd be nah. Niggas be catching me. I'm not gonna lie. Like, say like one of the homies around me for some reason, I get in the car and it is like not gonna win. I like, I be getting scared as hell. I'm saying. Niggas, you remember? I think we were driving, and then, I think you were in the car with him, and then he pulled up with the fake gun. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I be I'm low key pussy there, but like <laughs> I don't be ready. But I don't know. I would be feeling safe as hell. Maybe I shouldn't feel this safe. I'm I'm saying, bro. Yeah, maybe I'm. Like, I'm always ready. Yeah, do I'm, always, I'm always ready to like if shit goes left. I got you. Got to find you. Got know where the exits are. You gotta know how to get out of every situation. <laughs> you don't know. You don't be thinking no, like that. No, I do, but I'm thinking about it. You gotta know where. Like, you have to know escape plans. How I be to feel get... safe as hell walking to my wood. Nah, bro. Like, I be like, I really be scaring myself, low key. I, I like, I take, a, I have like a little jog to my to my door. Cause I be type scared, low key. Oh no, you're scared. You be running into your. No, house. no, no, no. I don't run. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go. Okay. <laughs> I gotta get inside. Nah, there, nah, there be some times where, like, uh, there be some times where I'm like walking throughout my crib. I turn on the lights. Like if it's, if it's if it's you don't turn the lights on like walking through the dark. I promise you, your little sister don't even do that shit, bro. No, I don't care. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> like what the fuck? You tell me. It's it's three o'clock in the morning. Three o'clock in the morning. You try and get something to drink in the fr- in the fridge. You don't turn no lights on you in the nah, dark. Nah, because the lights gonna bring me awake. I'm trying to stay asleep. Nah, nigga, just go walk around like this. When nah, I open, nah, bro. I just when keep I the open. lights off. Like I open the fridge like this. Looking away and then grab my shit. Like, nah, bro. Actually, I don't even drink cold water. I grab a uh, lukewarm. Why don't you like water. cold water, bro? Cold water like makes like, hurt, like you don't know, hurt my teeth, but like it's oh oh yeah okay. I I, I do you feel, feel like me that. like I rather drink like, like I rather chug it, but like if I'm like it's cold water, I can't chug it. I have to sip it. Yeah yeah yeah. Like like you got sensitive teeth. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I'm the same way. Yeah, that's why. I don't okay, I thought you was just like lame. No. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so you like you 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 keep your water bottle outside the fridge. Yeah, I don't know. That's not bad. I never put them in. What kind of what kind of water bottles you drink? Poland Spring. That's so. Or weird. Seagrams. Okay, there you go. Poland Spring bad water, but it's not good. No, it's, it's not, I wish I had one now. Nah, spring water. <laughs> <laughs> so, but no, you say you got a ghost story, bro? Yeah, I'm, I I was literally while you were talking trying to remember the outcome. I gotta look again. Want me to tell you this other? I got another. I got another athlete ghost story, bro. Want me to tell, want me to tell her why you think about it? Yes, well, right. I'm, I'm looking for it. So, people, I got this one more ghost story. I've been I've been into the paranormal the last couple of weeks. I've been, I've been scaring the fuck out of myself, scare myself. Like yo, I'm like you, you are gonna have like a fucking mental breakdown. Yo, I be two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> two o'clock in the morning. I'm I'm listening to these stories. I'm like, yo, I'm scared. But like, so do you know who Tito Ortiz is? Right? Isn't he a uh, UFC? Okay. Yes. One of the f- fighter. I knew he was one of the first UFC heavyweights, it, like before when UFC started. One of the first UFC heavyweights was haunted by a ghost. Okay. When he first moved, so basically he moved into the Hollywood Hills with his girlfriend into this new big crib, and you know new new crib new shit like you don't know what's what it's about. Yeah. So I guess throughout the times they was living there, like the first couple of days, they start hearing footsteps around the crib. Like you know somebody walking around, but they, you shit. know, but they just think it's just like the the house be creaking, but then right. His girlfriend had to use the bathroom. So she went into the bathroom and the door closed on her, like shut and locked. I've had that happen to me before. What? Yeah. You lying. Yeah. Where? It was, it was in, um, when I was at 48 New Street. So I got a story about that, but it happened to me. I'll explain after you finish Okay, this. okay. Just remind me. So she, she, the door closed, right? And then the light shut off and she couldn't open the door. Like the lock, it was locked. The nigga had to break through the door, like actually like kick that shit down. And then when she was like, yeah, I couldn't unlock the door. The lights wouldn't turn on. He kept flickering the lights. It wouldn't turn on. And then when she said it again, it turned on. So then they're like, all right, that was kind of weird. So then weeks go by, whatever. He's sitting at, he was um, sitting down watching TV Mm -hmm. and he see, he feels like he's somebody staring at him, Mm -hmm. like on the corner of his eye. And then, you know, when you see in the corner of his eye, you think you think you see shit. He said he sees someone like a dark figure standing there, but he's like swaying like this or staring at him. And he turns around and he, that shit disappears. 
So now he's creeped the fuck out. And you know, this nigga's a UFC yeah, he's champion. A fighter. This nigga's a fighter. He's not scared of shit. Fight no now, but he's creeped the fuck out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So another week, a couple weeks go by again. It's 2 a.m. Him and his girlfriend about to go to sleep. They hear somebody walking up the stairs. Walking up the stairs. Just like... like he just stomps. Yeah, The yeah. stomps. And like he has an alarm. They're like, wait, the alarm will go off. But there's, he's like, no, there's somebody in my crib. So now he's ready to beat some nigga ass. Yeah. So he they're walking and then the walking stops. But it's like a nigga walking to my door. And it stops right. He stops right at the door. Stop the guy stops right at the door. So they're like, oh no, nah, who the fuck is this? He goes out, he didn't see nobody. He goes and now but now he hears the footsteps going up the stairs. While he's downstairs? Like he's like in oh, his he's looking, yeah. Yeah, he has like more it's like four yeah. four stories. So he's going up the stairs now. So he's like, What the fuck? And then he goes upstairs to the attic. And in the attic it has like a, a bookshelf. So when he first went to the crib, he found out that the bookshelf had a secret room that they didn't know about. So he opened up the room. It was a secret room. So now, weeks after he found that out, he sees a shadowy figure, a silhouette of a man just staring at him, swaying like this. He doesn't know what to do. He's shook, bro. The nigga shook out of his boots. And then the man walks into the room and disappears. Like walks like through the bookcase and like disappears. So now, they, now they're creeped out. They're like, nah, fuck this. They leave. They dip. But the wife is now uh, investigating the house to see what's going on. And they find out that during the prohibition, that was like the um, speakeasies, whatever yeah, this is like, called, yeah. where they used to have uh, alcohol because you know alcohol was yeah, illegal. illegal yeah. And a guy, I guess, was about to get arrested because he got busted for having alcohol and he killed himself in that room. And that was the guy that's been walking around, uh, creeping him out. But he doesn't know if he was trying to get him out of there or trying to let him know that he's in that room. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Did that, they ever go in that room? They never went in. No, he went in that room the first time he seen it. And that was, but and, oh yeah, when he went in the room, the door automatic like. The the um speakeasy door it yeah it door. closed and he said it's a heavy ass door too so and that shit slammed shut so I don't know I don't like that ghost shit bro that shit really be creeping me out bro it be creeping me out but like I'm blessed by the Lord Jesus Christ oh no nah, of so course you, bro you feel me you feel, but I at the mean, end of the day I'm still fu- I'm still down here nah yeah. you know what I'm saying at the end of the day, I'm still <laughs> down here and I still like he by my side but I gotta face the fears and nah I got so I was gonna say I got two stories so this is one. I don't know if I explained this before, mm-hmm. but so I don't know if you know, there is like a ghost kind of story about uh, Rutgers North. Yeah. So at our school, um, you know, 48 New Street, the building was an RA at, right? Yeah, yeah. That building, apparently, right? So you know, like the the old Italian mob that used to be in Newark. Yeah. Right? So that building, what it used to be before they tore it down, apparently they used to own that building or whatever and do a lot of activity throughout the building. Uh-huh. But whenever they used to kill somebody... Like way back in the 1900s, they used to bury the bodies under there. So really? what happened is, I don't know if you remember, when you first came in, you remember, they were already like tearing the building when you were freshman year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And remember how long it took for them to like mm-hmm. actually do it? Yeah. So there was an investigation because when they dug it up and dug the foundation, they found bones and like bodies wrapped in shit like oh, bodies shit. buried under there. So it took mad long. The uh-huh. reason why I know this is because, you remember, Jared, you could believe him, but- you remember Jerry, his um, his brother and his um, what's it called? His dad. They were construction, mm-hmm. and they built Forty Eight New Street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they used to go to Annabelle's and all that. So mm-hmm. like, and they were telling me like, now they found bodies, and that's why like their work is taking so long. And you know, construction workers hate when it takes longer because yeah, like, yeah, because it's just extra time. Mm-hmm. And um, so regardless, they were like, yeah, there was whatever they had to do investigation, so it took a minute. So they hopped on different projects, whatever. Oh my Anyways, god. Anyways, so his dead is his dead bodies there. So then when um. I know, so they're like, yeah, so like, feel me, like, it's dead bodies, but no one ever said it was ghosts. Me living there, I lived on the second floor, and I lived on the fourth, fourth floor, two, yeah, yeah. those are two floors that I was on, mm-hmm. when I was RA. Yeah. I remember being on the fourth, and like, no cap, my shower would randomly turn on, like, randomly, just like, I'm, only, only whenever I was like, like, either, only at night, when I was either, like, about to go to sleep, the lights are off, and I'm hopping into bed, or like, if I'm yeah, lights only when it's like nighttime, all my lights are off. Shower turn no, I'm t- turn on. Tsh, water will come out, and it'll turn off. And I'm like, what the hell? The first couple of times, I just that was weird. Cause my door locked, so I'm like, I really you okay, know okay, ignore it. Now I'm like, what? I walk over and I just see the west. I'm like, it's odd. Okay, <laughs> that's old. The hell. Uh-huh. So then, uh, one time, so I. I remember so vividly. It was actually, it caught me for a second. But like, when I get scared by a ghost, I immediately get, I feel like it's disrespect. Uh huh. So like, for example, I walked, so this is what happened. I walked, I said, what the hell? Why does it keep turning on? 
I look at it, and no cap, I just felt a presence of a shadowy figure in the back left corner of the bathroom. Really? I felt it, bro. So the door opens out yeah, into yeah. the hallway. It doesn't open into the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I walk in, and the door's still open, and I felt it. I'm like, and I'm telling you, like, I turned, and I like my heart, I was like, what the fuck? I'm like... Nah, bro, suck my dick. Nah, I'm not. I, didn't even mean I felt like it was disrespect, bro. I felt like it was bad. I'm like, bro, you really think like God's not protecting me? Like you really try to sneak me, bro? It's dead for that. Like I wasn't going for it, bro. Uh huh. Nah, it's, like Holy Spirit, bro, stop playing with me. Like I, I started, Real shit, though. I wasn't. So I was like, what, bro? I'm like, I wish a ghost would. No cap. I literally said, if you a ghost, try me. I dare you. I'm about to go to sleep. I'm good. Feel me? Our Father who art in heaven. Like straight up. Like I wasn't going for it. And then. So then I remember another time, like, I'm about to go to my bed. So I, I come in, lights off, cool, I'm setting it up, I'm going to sleep. Everything shut off. I would go, and I usually left that door open. Like, I don't know. The bathroom just, door? Yeah, bathroom door. I, I would just leave open. Yeah. Like, whatever. And I remember it just, like, doom. Just heard it close. Like, you seen it, or did you hear it? No, I'm, so my bed was, like, around the corner, so I oh, couldn't see it. Oh, but you heard it close. And I'm like, what? And I thought somebody came in my room. I'm like, who the hell is my... I'm the RA. Who has my key? I'm like, what? I'm like, why is the door closed? And I open it, and I'm like... It's weird. Close it back. <laughs> nah, see that so shit. See, sleep. bro, is that is that all the shit that happened to you, bro? So that that happened, and I remember one time. So happened. I remember going in. Every light was off except for the bathroom light. Yeah. And I remember I was going in. I think to brush my teeth, and I walked in, and or take my contacts out, and I walked in the bathroom, and it closed behind me. On a normal basis, it didn't close. It would sway to the middle and stop. Uh huh. But it would never fully close. Like you, like like somebody like closed it. Yeah, like it was like not slammed, but closed. Yeah. Now here's the thing: every other room, RA room in that building, uh huh. Even the rooms, because when I do room checks, they have a hinge that would automatically close. My room was the only room where it didn't like it didn't have the hinge. So my door, you had to push it yourself. Oh my gosh. So like all other doors had the type of thing where it pushes it close every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My door was the only door that didn't close on its own. Like Rusty told, like my supervisor told me when you come in, he's like, yeah, your door doesn't close on its own. So I'm like, I don't really care. So something closed that shit. I'm saying. Now I can understand like if anybody lives in 48, like in that building, they know the door's closed on their own. That Mine was the only one that didn't. But that time it did close on its own. It did it like two, three times. Like Nah, see. Like it just closed. See, bro. If shit like, see, I, I'm the same thing like you, bro. Yeah. If I see some ghostly shit, I'm like, like, say, say I'm in my, I'm yeah. walking to my house, I see some shit, I'm like, all right, you know what? Who, what the fuck? Like, what's up, my nigga? Yeah, yeah. I'm ready like to beat the, the nigga. Yeah, I'm, to, I'm really, I'm really, like, don't try me, bro. Like, I remember, <laughs> yeah. I remember, I scared, I thought I seen some shit, right? Mm. And I walked in my room and I like smiled, I'm like, all right, I'm really got to fight a ghost I'm right now. I'm really about to beat some nigga. Like, I'm really about yeah, to have yeah, to, like, yeah. fight some paranormal yeah. shit. Like I'm getting myself hyped up. Yeah, like you, know, you might ha like I, I always t tell myself like say if I'm taking a shower at like three o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. and I walk you you know how my my thing is like you walk out you see the hallway yeah so usually if I'm taking a shower at three o'clock in the morning the hallway's dark yeah. I always picture like if I open the door I see somebody standing there just like pressing me I'm like, yeah, I'm, like I'm like oh yeah now it's time now it's <laughs> I'm gonna beat this nigga the fuck up yeah, yeah, yeah. like he's not like he's not gonna be like I might go down. But, but I'm not like he's not gonna think I'm bitch. I'm not going, going, I'm not going down running away. I might be no. scared at first, but I'm like, all right, bro, what's yeah, up? Yeah, that's, what I'm saying. <laughs> that's how I be thinking. I had an, the, another the other um, RA. She also used to say on our floor, we were both there, that she used to always see like a ghost in the corner of her room. Like she always would see a black figure. That's what she hated living there. She always used to say it. I'm like, yeah, me too. Like I'm not gonna lie. Like sometimes like it would be dark and I would feel like someone's over there, but like I literally would just ignore it. I mean, that's probably some evil ghost too because if niggas he's just work, staring at you. No, I'm just saying like niggas because the niggas that you said you was like niggas that work with a that was again with the mafia. Yeah. So that means they was doing some criminal shit and the mafia got them niggas. Yeah. Niggas don't know Newark. Right now it's bad, but it used to be worse. Yeah, it used to be running. Bro, crazy. Weak Wake Park. You know how many bodies they be finding? I think it, it yeah. kind of slowed down, but yeah. they, yo, there used to be all. That's what the mafia. Weak Wake. Uh, Br uh, what's that? Branchburg Park. Yeah. And all in the in the in the water they be. Bury niggas body, under there. Yeah, under the water. It should get max. Oh my god. Yeah, bro. I remember, but at a point, I was laying in bed. I hear the water. I was like, bro. I'm like, go ahead, bro. Like I wouldn't even care. I'm like, go ahead, do your thing. I don't even care. Nah, this bro. Crazy. See, when once ghosts start throwing shit at you, 
Oh, it would never even do. It would never disrespect my set like that. <laughs> like, what? Because I'm gonna throw something back. You just, <laughs> <laughs> just gonna throw a random. Shit. Yeah, bro. I don't even try that shit. Oh my god, bro. Hell no. But what was that other ghost story you had? Do you remember? So not. Nah, it was about. Um, so, I was in shout out to my girl HD, but. Freaking, she went to Ireland and she found a whole bunch of folklore stories and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And basically, in Ireland, they had this thing that's called a kelpie. And they have a kelp, kelpies, right? It's like a type of horse thing. Yeah. But they have a kelpie monument statue. It's kind of cool. Like, if you look at it, it's cool. So it's like this big, it's just the horse head they have, right? Yeah. But it's like a horse, it's like a horse seahorse. Like, like a seahorse. <laughs> it goes in the water, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like, its arms are like this, like yeah. curved out, right? So... This is how it goes, basically. Uh huh. At that statue, and the same thing. If you see a kelpie, if you like at night, if you go there and you're alone, you can see a kelpie. If you see it come out the water, it automatically entices you to want to ride the kelpie, because it's like a horse, and it will. It, you hop on, and then if you hop on the horse or go near the horse to touch it, it will bring you into the water, and you will die, and they will not find your body. Really? Because the kelpie is like, and it's, it's like evil? a big lake. Yeah, they just you know how like um sirens like yeah 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 like that like that like it will literally entice you to ride the horse, <laughs> and you will literally like yeehaw right into the water, <laughs> and, you're, and you're not coming back. Wait, so there's a whole statue about it? Big ass statue in Ireland. It's a, oh, a let big me, thing. Let me look it up. Kelpie. I wanna, I wanna look it up. Kelpie. Yeah. Uh, Kelpie horse. Oh shit. Yeah. Mythology. Yeah. Hold on. Let me see. Is it this? Oh, this shit. Yeah. Like this looking thing? Yeah. It kind of looks... Like if you look up the actual statue... But yeah, it's like one of those... Yeah, if you look up the statue, it just has the head. It's kind of... But yeah. That's crazy. See, I feel like other countries in the world... Oh, this shit? Yeah. Nah, this is kind of wild. This is kind of freaky. Yeah, it's kind of freaky. I don't want to see that. Like I wouldn't want to see that in person. Nah, low key though. Nah, imagine you do see a horse in like in the middle of the water. I'll bug out. Nigga, I'll be like, shit, I might... They might get my ass. Yeah, (laughs) Like shit, <laughs> he's like I'm like hold on, what's up? I'm about to tame that nigga. Yeah, he, you know what it reminds me of when SpongeBob found that little horse. You ever watch the seahorse? Sp- yeah, the seahorse episode where he uh, I forgot what his name is. His name was like Twelvey. No, 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 that wasn't. And he was stupid. No, no, it was a, it was a, <laughs> it was a horse, and Mister Krabs didn't want him to have the horse because the nigga kept eating the Krabby Patties. Yes, and the nigga kept. He was like. <laughs> I forgot what the nigga's name was. He took like the bite of the. Uh, yes, he yeah. took the bite of the fucking hat or whatever. Yeah, he got yeah, mad yeah, and he yeah. had to he had to dip. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. what he reminded me of. But I, I don't know. But I feel like America. See, you know, you know the I, you know the Philippines mm-hmm. is very, like I want to say haunted, but they're very, like like there's a a whole bunch of ghost stories. Like there's signs in the Philippines that says, "Wave to the ghost children." No. Like I'm saying, like. All over the place, they right? No, I promise you. It says wave. Wave to the ghost. It says something like, like say hello to the ghost children, but it's like a real sign. And there's two kids holding hands and it says like, say hello to the, or wait, you have you must wave to the, the ghost children. So the whole thing about that is like, if you see like a ghost child in the Philippines and you don't wave at them, you will like, you will either be cursed, you will be cursed, you will have bad luck and you will be, you will possibly die. There's like... There's been a lot of, like, I guess, I don't know. I think it's just a legend because I don't know if there's actual accounts where people have been dying. Because everybody, they say, if you see a little kid, I'm, I'm going to ask my mom about this. Because they say, because I think when people say they do see little kids, they do wave. That you have to wave at them. Like, say hello. I guess that's a way to, like, show in, like, respect. But there's actual signs in the Philippines that says hello to the ghost kid. Let me see if I can find it. My dad. Let me see if I can find that. What's going on, man? Yeah, now we're doing the podcast right now. What was that, your dad? Yeah, it's my dad. What's up, Mr. Yeah, Bowens? <laughs> what's up, man? <laughs> yeah, what's up, man? <laughs> nah, yeah, we're doing the podcast right now. Okay, all right. I'm going to call you when I get out of here. All right, cool. All right, Lee. So it says, it, says, it looks like this, wave, wave, uh, waving children. So you like that's an actual. It says please wave back. Oh, I, I'm good, bro. I'm not going to the Philippines, bro. There's so like my mom's told me so many ghost stories about Why? the Philippines. It's just there's just it's just I feel like there's a lot of like especially in Asian culture. I feel like there's a lot of like spirits that just 
yeah. Rome, and there's, there's a lot of evil shit like in like the like Japan, Philippines, yeah, those OD. islands. There's a lot of evil shit, bro. Damn. Like even like Japan has all the worst shit, bro. Yo, do you have Asian glow? What's that? So, you told me this nigga is weird. <laughs> he texted me about this. I'm like, what the fuck did that even mean? I hope I do. Nigga said Asian no, glow. What the no, fuck? you don't want that. Wait, what is that? So, yo, I as your mom probably knows about it. I hope like not. she almost 100 percent knows what Asian glow is. 100. percent Let me see. So basically, remember when I went to I went to London? Yeah. And I met some homies. So one of one of my homies now is this uh, Chinese girl. She's Chinese, Chinese and Taiwanese. It's, they hate each other, but it's kind of yeah, weird. yeah, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> she she what's it called? She was like she has Asian glow. So like we were drinking. Basically, Asian glow is. A lot of Eastern Asians yeah. are allergic to alcohol. Oh. So if they drink it, they get like red and start to get hot. And oh. then like they get drunk fast as hell. Oh, okay. So like they can drink, but like they'll get drunk fast as hell and they can't drink as much, right? Uh-huh. And different people, like if it's really bad Asian glow, they can only have like one shot. Some of them, it's like, ah, if you drink too much, you start to get bad, right? Yeah, yeah. So like basically, um, like she had it and like she took like one, like she took like two shots and it had some. We had this Japanese beer thing, whatever, and the she soju? drank that. And she soju. soju. Why do you, yo? You're why do you know that? Because I got I got niggas that was in the Marines. They go to they went to Japan. And that's oh, they, they okay. always talk I'm about. I'm about to say like what the hell? They always talk about that's like what? the main Japanese like like drink. beer. beer. It tastes good as hell too. Yeah, I heard that shit's rocking. I was like, yo, I'm like, you just knew that shit on Fred. Soju. I remember, I remember that. everybody else was like, it's sake. I'm like, it's not sake. Bro. It's <laughs> something else, bro. But either way. She was uh, what's it called? So she had that, and she started like turning red and whatnot. Really? Got dumb, yeah, like wrapped up in a cover. She was bugging, yeah. She was OD, but that's why I asked you what Asian glow. I hit Russ up too. I What'd was like say? Russ, but Russ like fully Asian. So I'm like, yo, Russ, like you got Asian glow. He just like started laughing because I think he knows what it is. He told me he said, yo, because I hit him up like it was like mad late because you know time difference. Yeah, <laughs> he was yeah, like, yo, yeah. go ahead, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, nah, that shit. I, I, know, I asked bro. my mom. You know, my mom's type old school though, so he might have called it a different thing. Yeah, it might have, but that, like most of them like know what it is. So she That's kind of shitty though. That's wild. Like you just you're allergic to. Alcohol? I thought you said I was cool. Oh no, no, no! Like you, like you got like a, like an Asian. Now nah, you lame as shit. If you got, <laughs> nigga, so I thought nigga said I had an aura to me. I'm like, okay, nah, nigga. Nah, you ain't had it. <laughs> nah, you ain't had it. Nah, that's funny as. But maybe, maybe what if that's like a Chinese thing. It might be like a Chinese thing. Yeah, I know. Like Japanese people have it. Like this is Eastern Asian. So. Oh, so yeah, the Philippines is East. So. Yeah. Dang, that's kind of crazy. But you guys are more on like the poppy side. So what do you mean by poppy? What's that mean? You guys are, like the Spanish Asians. Bro. That is, we are the yeah, we that's are what I'm Spanish Asians. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We, are, we, ha- we were conquered by the Spaniards. Yeah, I be forgetting about that, yo. Like yeah. low key, the Philippines went through something like the Holocaust that Wait, we looked. What? You never heard about why that? We, why isn't this? we learned? No, we did. We learned about that in high school. I remember. Nah, they would never. It was called like the Great Walk or some shit. They never said this, but they, yes, they no did, way. bro. I never. I've never textbook. heard. I've never heard a single history teacher say the word Philippines. <laughs> I've never. No way. So I think it was during World War Two, and I think the Japanese, or one of the people, the Japanese was trying to conquer the Philippines. Right. And they would take the Filipinos and have them walk miles without stopping, like walk to certain places. And I remember they I remember they said something about like a like a a Filipino woman was pregnant and she was giving birth. They said fuck that. Fucking stabbed and took the baby right out and left her there and just kept walking. And like niggas would like they didn't give no food water. Niggas was just dropping dead, just walked for like hundreds of miles to like a like a concentration camp or some shit. But no like that but we definitely learned about that. I feel like Unless my Maybe teachers, you probably learned about it. I had Mr. Ferroni and Mr. Bertucci. Ferroni is a tryhard, so you, you would have. Hey, bro, that, that ain't I, gonna never, teach I don't even know who Bertucci is. He, that I'm, sounds freaky. Nah, what? but Bertucci was the OG, bro. Now nah, he he left my senior year. He was my junior year social studies teacher. Yeah, I don't he know. brought us to the he brought us to Washington D.C. for a, for a field trip. We went to the Free? hell yeah. Strong, this guy. We went to. Uh, it was like five o'clock in the morning. That's why. That's where I met Chris and UJ the first time I met him on the I, bus. I, I, <laughs> on the bus, I met Chris and UJ because they, we all had Bertucci, but we had them different periods. Yeah. Oh, but he brought all the classes. But he brought the whole classes, and like it was five o'clock in the morning. This nigga Chris is like, "Yo, you want some uh, barbecue chips? I don't want these shits." I never met a nigga a day in my life. He didn't even say hi to me. He, yeah, he you just, want these chips, bro. Yeah. He's like, "You want some barbecue chips? Five o'clock in the morning. I'm tired of shit." I'm like, "Sure." <laughs> and then I just thought we just started hanging out, bro. Niggas, niggas took it to the Holocaust Museum, bro. You know how. 
You know how depressing that shit was? Nah, it's early? It matters. Nigga, we went there at 8 o'clock in the morning. I had a, There was a Muslim nigga in my class. He said, man, fuck the Jews. He was wowing. I'm like, what the fuck? Dang. He said, I ain't trying to listen to this Free shit. Free Palestine. But nah, yeah. Was, <laughs> that nigga said, he said, I ain't trying to see this Damn, shit. Damn, he was on that he was on that Free Palestine shit early. Oh, early. No, I think, hey, rest in peace, that nigga. I think he died. Yeah, yeah I think he got shot up. Your man's? No, nah, he wasn't my man's. He was like, I knew him. He was like, he was like a nigga that was in our class. He was type funny. What's I was his name, to. bro? Forgot, I forgot. Who shot him a Jew? Say no, I'm I forgot what his name was, but he was. You probably seen him before. Like he was a big dude. He used to smoke a lot. Big dude, big nose. Had a had a mohawk. You play football? I think he tried to play football. He was on the football team, but didn't play. Yeah, he was on the football team, didn't play, and stop stop playing. Like he smoked mad weed. He used to hang out with like he was tall, pretty big, but he was a big kid. It was Ak, not Ak, but like fat, fat kid. Nah, I I f- his name was like Muhammad, I think. If, come on, man. <laughs> like, bro, like, come on. Like, after you just said, yeah, he's a Muslim dude. His name's Muhammad. Like, after you freaking, are you serious? Like, there's no way. Yeah, I'm, hey, bro. But, hey, man. The, but that shit, I remember Tucci. Shout out Bertucci, bro. He, I remember, he said he, he became a state trooper. So, Bertucci, if you're watching this, you pulled me over. I hope you recognize me, man. I always think about it, like, because I heard state troopers don't do shit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they do. I heard they just they're just vibe. They, they just vibe out if like there's a fire they alert it if there's a they, they alert it they only they only catch people if they're speeding down the highway like you know you know Jeremy the nigga that works at the the dome he's yeah. about to be a state trooper free mm-hmm. that's just sound free it is bro free job and they get paid like bread might have to tap in so <laughs> hey bro you gonna be in the yeah. FBI soon yeah I think he's gonna good. be in the feds yeah. but since we talking about that I got a I got a game we could play bro right. so can you name the top five states. With the least amount of black people. For sure. Let me let me let me pull up the list, bro. That's easy. Let's see. It's easy. It's too easy. But before but before but before it's too, easy. it's too easy. But before we do that, I want to ask you a question. What states do you think don't have a hood in it? Like, you know, don't have the hood. Cause you know, you feel like yep, every I, state has their own hood. It's easy. You know. I'm 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 nice with the shits. What I'm, state you think don't got a hood in it? Utah. Ooh, that's a good one. Yep. I was gonna say Iowa. I don't think Iowa got a hood in it. I don't I think feel like no... Iowa does. I really feel like Iowa. Nah, has I don't think same. Iowa has hood niggas, bro. <sighs> nah, there's no way there's a hood in Iowa. Iowa, Iowa goes stupid. Nah, <laughs> I, I don't think there's no hoods in Iowa, Nebraska, North Dakota, North and South Dakota. Imagine a nigga. There ain't no Crips in South Dakota or Bloods. You don't see a pirate. Iowa group. ranks number sixteen in the country. And what? Of all 50 states of crime and correction. Oh, shit. So there might be a hood. Nigga, don't look at that shit. You might look at the answers for the top five thing. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> that, that's me honest. That's, yeah, that, that was the crazy... What did you just say? What city is the worst? Did say, wait, oh, wait, wait. Autumn, Ottumwa. Most dangerous city in Iowa, Ottumwa, besides having highest crime rates in the state, Ottumwa... County C well, it was Sizzle, No, no, no. no. Go, go back. You said Des Mignones? Des Mignones River. Des Moines? <laughs> Des Moines, Des Moines, Des Moines, Des Moines, Des Moines. Des Moines. Des, I, nigga said Des Mionis. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, bro. Why does she so? Yeah, bro. Uh, but yeah. Oh, I'm about to cook you. Let me see. Top. I might. I might get three right off the bat. With the least amount of black population. Amount of black people. Let's see. Let's see, people. Let's see. Let me check. I, I see. Um, this is based on 2024. Okay, let's see. 2000. There's an ad. Okay, I don't want to see that. All right, Tyrone. Let me guess. You want me to go? Go ahead. Montana. Ooh, you nice. Yeah, I tell you shit. Montana's number one. Bro. I knew it. Let's go. I'm. I'm. I'm really. I really go crazy. Nice. Um, with 1.05 percent black people. Jesus Christ. That shit. I'm going to go for this one, but I don't feel like it hits because I do, ah, this is not a good one. I'm just going to go for it early. Utah. Utah? Let me see. Nah, Utah's not top five. Utah is actually seven. On. Utah. Hold on. Where, it's pretty it? high? No way, no way, no way. Hold on. I think I passed it. Where the fuck is Utah at? Number two. Say no. <laughs> oh, shit. No, actually, Utah's number three. I'm one point one point seven percent black. I'm two for two right now. Holy I'm, shit! I'm really one of the best to do it. Wow. Um, the next one, Vermont. 
Oh, you're actually cooking right I'm now. Co- I told niggas I was you're gonna cook. Co- I told niggas Vermont, I was one point nine percent black. That's yeah. number five. I've been there. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, I've been there. Yo. Um. Next one. Yep. I don't think that's it. Can't go there. Think- I can name a city. What? Well, this one is not the state. This state doesn't count. But after this, look at the city. Um. Oregon, uh, Portland, Portland, Oregon. That's one of them. But that that doesn't. That's not what I'm, I'm not. You're going not counting Oregon. Oregon. I'm not going. Oregon. I'll tell you, Oregon was Oregon. I'm not gonna count it, but Oregon is two point nine percent. They're people. not top five. Nope. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're not top top five. top five. They're top ten or fifteen. Yeah. It's, okay. So um, I don't want to say these people, but I'm gonna say them. And I'm not gonna regret it. What are you gonna Idaho. Say? Yo, you're cooking right now. The goat. Idaho is number two. One point zero seven percent black people in Idaho. Now I need so I'm three for three right now. Four for four. Oh, four for four. You just need number one, two, you just need number four. Which one was number five? You have it's Montana one, Idaho two, Utah three, and Vermont is number five. You just need number four. I want to go with this one, but I can't go with that one. So I got to switch it. I got to switch it. <laughs> it's one of these two. Fel- Maine. Maine? Nah. Ah, I knew it. I you knew it. Should've. Just outside. Maine I is did. number six, bro. Number six? I'm 1.99%. Oh, oh my so God. Close. You're actually cooking, bro. Oh, so close. God, there's no black people in Maine. <laughs> there's no black people. I'm like, what are we doing there? Wait, wait. <laughs> there's no black people in Maine. Um, I really want to go here, and I'm not. There's two spots I want to go, and I know I, I'm going to say this one and be tight, so I can't go there, because percentage-wise, you know what I'm saying? Nope. No, 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 <laughs> no. All right, I'm going to say this one. Uh-huh. And this is a cell. This is a, no, that's a cell. Can't do that. Can I look at the map? Because I'm forgetting states. Go man. ahead. You can look at the map. All right, cool, cool. There's a lot of states. What do you, what do you, states. what do you think is the number one in black population? Um, Chicago. So I'm just, um, <laughs> number one, probably. Georgia. Georgia is actually number four at 31.4 percent. The number one is D.C. 48. Washington, D.C.? Washington, D.C. That, that has. Count, that counts? Yeah. That's, that's that has cool. almost half the population of America. Half the African-American population lives, lives in D.C. D.C. is not even that big. Exactly. What the fuck? That shit's mostly... Shout out to DC, bro. If you're from the DC area and you watch the pod, shout out to you, bro. You are part of the 50%. We are actually... Um, I think we're top 20. We ooh, have 14%. Maybe I should go there, but I don't know. I can't go there. Definitely not there. All right, man. North Dakota. North Dakota? Nah, it's I not North I should, Dakota. I knew I shouldn't have said it. North Dakota is 3.63%. All right, what I was going to say originally, which I should have just led with, was Nebraska. Nope, not Nebraska. What? Not Nebraska. Nebraska is 5.92% black. 92? 5.92. Oh, I was about 5. to say. 5.92%. percent about to say, what the hell? Nah, hell no. That'd be fucking crazy. Nebraska? Mm-hmm. That's low-key, that's low-key, like, slavery. Oh, I'm bugging. Alaska? Nah. Alaska. I didn't, I didn't think Alaska either. I'm Alaska bugging. is, Alaska actually got a hood in it. You know that, right? They be, yeah, 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 yeah. They be yeah. driving around in, hell, in um, Hellcats. Yeah, they, <laughs> they be drifting Hellcats in that bitch. Alaska's yeah. actually up. Where's Alaska? Is that pass that? Oh, nah, that's not gonna work either. That's not. Ala- Where the fuck? Is All right, that? I was gonna say this, and I can't. No, it's not it. I can't say. It. I'm not gonna say it. If it's it, I'll take my. I won't say that one. What? I was gonna. I can't say it right now. I think. I think you're just thinking about it too much. Nah, I'm nice, bro. Let me let me hear, it, bro. I had it, bro. You're missing a very white state. I can't say that state. I can't say it. This is a fucking pathetic, bro. How the hell? How there's only one percent people? That's like a hundred people. A <laughs> hundred black people. Iowa? Huh? Iowa? Nah, no, 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 no. 
Iowa is four point eight six percent over there. Yeah, you gotta think white of the white. I really don't want to say Alabama. Nah. Okay. Alabama is yeah. actually number. I'm going for it. Arkansas. Nope. Damn. Alabama is actually top seven. 26.23. Arkansas. I didn't is, think Alabama was up there. Where the fuck is Arkansas? Ar- Arkansas is above Mississippi. Are we going West Virginia, man? Nah. West right, Virginia is right. pretty black. I knew it. I freaking knew it. Actually, it's not that. All right. This is a lot. This is K- Kentucky, bro. Nah. And it's not Tennessee. Nope. I knew it. I knew it wasn't. You want to know what it is? Yeah, you got to tell me, bro. Wyoming. I was, I thought of Wyoming. And I was like. Wyoming is. One, it came to my head once and I was like, forget it. Like, Wyoming is 1.83% black. Damn. That's crazy as hell. But I guess like the top, I guess five of the top six, like off, off the, off the rip. You tweaked. No fails. Hold on. Let me, let me check out the population of Montana. Population of Montana. She want to know. The one. Thought. It's 1.1 million people in Montana. And what's what's 1% of 1.1 million? Is that 100K or 10K? 1% of... You were stupid. Am I dumb? We have college degrees and we're getting our master's right now. We're both going to have master's degrees and we can't figure this out off the fly. 1 million. This is fucking crazy. (laughs) 1% of 1 million. What the fuck is that? Why isn't nobody telling me this? This nigga's clicking links to find this. Why the fuck is it that? It better I, not. I would do the same. Where is it? What, well, why, you can't oh, look at one percent. Oh. One percent of one million. One oh shit! That, this is one of one million. What the fuck, nigga? It's ten thousand, bro. Ten. There's ten thousand black people. Think about it. That's that's probably that's got to be one town. It's looking a good amount. But you know, when you know my thought process. What. One, I just know, because remember I told you I want to live in Montana. Yeah, that was, that was a great one. That was a so good pick. So I'm like, I already know. I knew it was number one. Mm-hmm. I, know, I know he's going to hit. You feel me? That I was already, a good pick. Research. You know what I'm saying? I'm tapped in. Real nigga. Then Utah was number... I think it was like seven. No, no Utah was top five, wasn't it? No, nah, Utah was six. Six. Utah was six. No, no, know. Maine was six. Utah, no, Utah was three. Utah was three. Utah was three. Utah was three. And I say Utah because, shout out to my boy Spencer, he's a Mormon. Utah yeah, yeah. is ran by Mormons. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And no, then no, I, I wanted to stop because I was like, they are kidnapping black kids. You know, you know, what, you know what soaking is? Yeah. They're weird. Very weird. Weird. Don't look it up. Don't look it up. Very Don't weird and up. horny individuals. Yeah, it's odd. It's not It's not that serious. It's not that deep. Yeah, it's not, <laughs> it's not that deep. But uh, Utah, so I was like, he's ran by Mormons. Mormons are white. Book of Mormon. Ask him if he soaked. Don't ask him if he soaked. <laughs> I'm going to ask him. <laughs> but then Utah, and then I went Idaho because... Now it got to geography. Oh no! Mm-hmm. Then I went Vermont. The reason why I said Vermont is because I've been to Vermont and it's all white. And so the people I was talking to up there, mm-hmm. they literally told us they don't see black people. And then when I went with the homies, we looked up the percentage wise, and it was one of the lowest states. Uh huh. Makes sense. That's why I said it. Then I was like, I had to go geography. I said Idaho because it's right by it. Because Montana. no, no, no. So East Coast, that's when slave trade. We had slaves here. So oh, whenever yeah. slave and en- slavery ended. The closer you get to the East Coast, the more black you're going to get. Yeah, yeah. Even in the racist and states. South. It's mostly in the South. south. That, 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 yeah, exactly. Yeah. So like, and then the closer you get to there, even though it's racist over there, mm-hmm. you're going to find more black people. Yep. And you got to go West. No, we weren't traveling that far West, but if you go to the coast, that's a hub for coming from any islands or anywhere foreigners. Yeah. So you have to go like right in the little middle sliver. Yeah. And you got to go up. Can't go down because Mexico's down there. Yeah. You got to go up. So as you go up, it's like in that, that's why Utah, Wyoming, Montana, Idaho. All right, it's the same. They're all connected. They're all mm-hmm. touching each other. So that's why I was like Idaho, and I just totally forgot about Wyoming. That's what I'm saying. Black black people didn't go over there because them niggas didn't feel like they didn't want to cross. They didn't want to go up the Rocky Mountains to see what's on the other side. Yeah, no, the I white niggas is crazy. Yeah, they hopping out. They was yeah. like, you know, fuck it. I'll trek and through the Rockies. Yeah, black I, people see mountains. They said they turn right back around. Yeah, they said we good and stayed they, right in Louisiana. They went right back to the. But the I could name top black cities. Go ahead, I mean, Montana. Uh, top black states. States with the most black people. We already said DC. DC is number one. DC is forty eight point forty nine percent. Ah, percentage wise, that counts as a state. So there was fifty one states. Uh, I guess we we'll, we'll count it. Capital. I guess it counts. All right, it's cool. What it's do you think? Right. What do you think is next? Um, where's Georgia? Is Georgia not top five. Georgia's number four. Yep, at thirty one point four percent. I'm nice. Um, let's go with uh, give me a quick little hit me with uh, Louisiana. 
Ooh, you're nice. Louisiana's number three. Yeah. I at 34.23%. I do be doing what I do, you know what I'm saying? That's it. Now we're gonna we're gonna get real crazy here, mm-hmm. and we're gonna hit the uh, let's go to North Carolina. Ooh, North Carolina was just outside. It's like eighth, twenty one point eight. You gotta remember this. North Carolina got the back country. That's what the white people be in the back country. That's where the little racist people be at. Yeah, my slaves are over there. Mm-hmm. Um, Florida. Mm, Florida was sixteen point twenty six percent. They, they real diverse up there. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get weird and go to uh, New York. It's a sell, though. New York is in the top 10, 17.44%. Damn, damn. It's more than New Jersey. New Jersey is 14.33. Damn, damn, damn. So damn. we're pretty diverse up here. Damn, I don't know. I don't. Now I'm lost. Like, I can't. They're all in the south. Yeah. Louisiana was there, Florida. Mississippi? Got, Mississippi's number two. Oh, I'm nice. 39.08% black. Um, now you're just missing number five. It's south, but Texas? Not, nah. Damn. Too south. Not Damn. too south. Kentucky? Nah. Fried chicken. Kentucky's a little more on the white side, around 20%. No, 10%. <gasps> or in the teens. Not South Carolina. South Carolina is, nah. It's right. top 10, though, 26.04%. Damn. I give up. Who's it? Maryland. DMV. Yeah, 31.27%. Snugin, bunking up your Tugan. I hate the way they talk. I, I hate it so much. I hate it. I want to fight them. But, <laughs> you know, did I ever tell you, like, I always wanted to experience how it is to live in, like, an all-white town? Did I ever tell you that? No, that's odd. <laughs> that's odd. Do you, all right, so, you know, I always, because I always tell you, I feel like my life is a movie. I always, okay. I always play my life like a movie, like like an action movie. That's why I'm always ready to fight a ghost yeah. whenever time has come. Yeah. I'm always ready. Like if like if it's like active shooter in the building, I'm not gonna be afraid. You ready? <laughs> Spring into action. Spring into action. I know. I know where all the exits is at. Yeah. If Jay's with me, I, yo, I'm shooter ready. in the building. Tackle Jay on the floor. Make sure she's good. He's I'm all we out. I'm, we I'm already ready. I'm already knowing what to do. We out of here. So, but there's also a lot of the movies have like the the white high schools. You yeah. know, big ass high schools. They have yeah. like they have like study halls. Yeah. They have cooking classes, knitting, sewing. They have they have like a little foyer where they have lunch. Like like in like they have a, real pep rallies. And they shit. have real pep rallies. They have nigga. They have jocks that wear varsity jackets. I never experienced that, and I always thought like, what? How would that be? I mean, we had Justin Beckett. Nah, but like, <laughs> <laughs> why you keep saying his name on this podcast? Yo, I, this nigga is so bad. Yeah, I gotta bleep that shit out. Oh. One forty-five. Yeah. Nah, but I always want to experience like how it would be to be with, like white people. Like nah, if it would yeah. be if it's like like you know how high school. Give me your lunch money, chump. No, nah, I don't want. I don't want to get no, wanna, but like just seeing like, like just seeing that like white bullying. You know, yeah, like, white bullying. Like, 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 like I feel like I feel like it's like they don't have no good jokes. Yeah, like they're just like they're like, ha, ah, your mother's fat. <laughs> that's why your mother's like. I feel no. It's either really bad jokes or really over the line jokes. And be like, ah, that's why your mom has uh, cancer. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, like some wild shit. Like it's really hateful. Like, yeah, like, like really just... hateful. Like I, I don't think I'll ever. Like I always wondered, like how what they how, like how it would be like they they're just walking through the halls and like you see the people holding their books. Like they be like, they be Johnny, stop messing with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like leave him leave alone. Him alone. <laughs> 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 Leave him alone. Yo, I about to say <laughs> like I just feel like I know like now, my boy, uh he was an RA would be he went to like it was in Jersey, some school by Manasquan, right next to Manasquan. Yeah, yeah. He went to um all white. Like they, it was a small school, but like he said there was only one black kid in his entire school <laughs> and he was a dweeb. So like uh, he didn't play sports. And he was like most of the jokes were like racist Jewish jokes. Yeah. Or racist Muslim jokes. <laughs> they used to throw pennies and quarters at the jewish kids like this isn't this is in 20 like 17 wow like i'm like why would what that's okay I f- they didn't have security like the security guards were like the math teacher damn Lo- like wow. max max so like and he said like um all his kids like they, all his friends were like all like ultra racist like oh shit ultra but like not actually racist but he just made like funny. over the line like, racist that's jokes. like yeah yeah, like you're a real nigger. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? And yeah, then like yeah. yeah, like trying to be funny. And like shit. like I feel like if I was in an all white school, like I feel like that would like I feel like everything's against me. I think I probably would be at the, in the league or D one. You'd be in the league. Like, I think I'll be D one because one because one I'm gonna be the star of the show, 
And then I feel like everybody's against me. They be like, "Yeah, look at that. You got the you you got the the colored boy." Boy, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like I'm feel like like the Garden. world's against me. Like Garden, it's yeah. my time. All the races yeah, got like you know how the how the true. white people be like when we go play away games. They'll be like yeah. white town. They the yeah, yeah, the yeah, baseball yeah. players. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Back against what well, I and, <laughs> same, bro. Yeah, yeah, I feel rolling. like that shit would be mad fun. But no, I always just I always just wonder like if it was just like if it looked like High School Musical. I think it, not like singing, but like you know how the school yeah, looks. Yeah, I know exactly what you like, mean. Like just everybody, like the whole vibe of the area. The vibe of this, like yeah, like uh, they have like, uh, like they do like science lab projects. <laughs> they have like there's just like there's just so much shit that I don't think we'll like ever have to. I feel like a lot of the viewers like actually went through this. Yeah, like, like, you guys didn't do that. Nah. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's like nah. Now nah, we li- we went to a pretty diverse high school. Super diverse. It was too diverse. We're spoiled. It was mad diverse. Yeah, we, like we didn't really like every ethnic group. We had yeah. every ethnic group you can think of. We had white people, black people, Haitian people, Spanish people. Um, yeah. every like every country, bro. Middle Eastern, Middle Eastern, every, it's all over the place. So you really couldn't find. There wasn't no really clicks. Everybody was cool. Everybody there was like there wasn't no like segregation or some shit like that. But I just like I always just want because I always no I'm weird. I always say in my past life I lived in like I was I don't know why. I always said I was like I lived on like in the country, mm-hmm. but as like a dog. In my past life I was like a dog, but in the country type shit. But I <laughs> like you you know what I mean like. <laughs> so here's the thing. Under normal circumstances, I'd be like, "Damn right, you a dog, nigga." You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? And he's like, "Been a dog," you know what I'm saying? Because we, you know, we play in the brick city. We, yeah, you dog. We, but I know what you meant. That's not what you meant at all. <laughs> you did not mean a dog in <laughs> mentality and how hard you play basketball. You meant a dog. Oh, oh, it's John. You meant a dog as a fucking animal, like a lab, like a, lab, a golden retriever. Yo. You need, bro. So that nigga say what's good to the pod, bro. Say what's up to the pod, bro. You on the nigga pod. in the dark, bro. Hey, he's he 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 only stay in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> he literally yeah. only stays in the dark. <laughs> nah, but I'm gonna hit you when I get out of here, though. All right, I'll be talking to you later. I bet, gotcha. I'll be on look. It's just that yeah. like, I'll I'll always like yo like when like when me and Jay came up from Atlanta and when, you know when you drive when you drive from Atlanta like you mm-hmm. pass by like the Appalachian you see the mountains like in Virginia and shit like that yeah. like I, we was driving past it, I was like damn that looks like home yeah <laughs> like I always want to live in the hills bro but you I, this is what I was like you like picture myself like I picture you like <laughs> mentally as you know how like a dog is like sitting yeah and just like in the breeze <laughs> just, like I know you envisioned yourself in like a prairie yeah like as a prairie dog just being a fucking dog. <laughs> Doing nothing. <laughs> just Which free. is mid aspirations. Like that is mid <laughs> dreams. I'm not gonna lie. That's mid as hell, bro. Like, <laughs> that's my past life. Just imagine, bro. You can't we up we upgraded. You could have had a cooler past life. I don't fucking know. You could have been like a lion who nah, died. Nah, like you know what I'm saying? Pride, bro. I don't want to be in Africa. You could even malaria. been like a monkey. Ah, oh, that's racist. But you could <laughs> <laughs> Nah bro. You could have been something in the pastures, bro. Just like just basking in the sun, the, the sundown. I'm just waiting. I'm just like seeing the sun sunset over the pasture. Just see like the wind blowing between my fur. Just chilling. <laughs> just chilling, bro. That's just that's just a good life. Lame ass nigga. Yeah, you know I'm saying like my my end goal, bro, is that I'm a me and Jay gonna have a, have a crib in the hills, bro. That's the goal, bro. In like. Not 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 the windy hills. Not not windy hills, but like you know like Watchung or like fucking like Summit. Shore hills. Maybe short. No, no, a little too white. A little, yeah. little diver. Maybe somewhere in South Jersey. Somewhere around there, though. Montana? Nah. Fuck no. <laughs> Montana, I don't know. No, yeah. But yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that's... That, that, like, you don't ever... Like, what... Like, if you ever were to move, right? What part would you, like... Montana. No, not for apocalypse. So, you know, like, 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 what type of, like, landscape would you want to move uh, to? Like, city life, country life? I've been banging with the city life. It's weird. I've been living in Newark, like, full-time for the longest, so I'm yeah. kind of spoiled by it. But... It's so easy to get around and stuff, even without a car. But saying, um, honestly, like if I went with a family stuff, I think I want to go to like family stuff, bro. I think I'd want to go to like, I want to go down. No, I want to go up. It's not as I don't know, bro. I I think I want to go to like Ohio. What's behind? What's Michigan? No. Too close to the water. Let me see. Um, I don't know. I want to go somewhere. It's like suburban. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I want to stay in Jersey, bro. I do too. I'm not gonna. Lie. I'm gonna point to leave Jersey, but I want to go to like. 
I moved to South Jersey. What town? I want something, something G, bro. I want to get. I would want to leave Union, but like hell yeah, probably Union, bro. I don't. I don't think I don't want to live in Union. But bro. I want a better crib. Like, I, I feel like I've seen every crib in Union. Like I want. I want to go to a place where, like, I've never been to before. So like, it feels like I'm on vacation, for the first like year. I don't and know, half. cause like I, I like. But here's the thing, like a union, I feel like I can talk to anybody. Like I ask my neighbor, like, hey, anything. For that help. is true. And I know where to get help. But like if I'm in a brand new location. You got to get used to it. I don't even know nothing. Like I, I don't like, hey, where's the closest this? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and they I'm might like be racist. Foreigner. Like, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? I could like Boy. tell my son or my daughter like, oh, yeah, this is where I used to do this and whatnot. You no, know I'm what I'm still saying? bringing them to the hood, though. Yeah, it's, 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 I bring them back. He's going to the, we're driving that hour to the hood to go play basketball. It's, <laughs> Gotta get roughing up a little bit, bro. Brookside Park. Gotta go to either going to Newark or going to Jersey City. He said you go somewhere, bro. Yeah, you could chill out at Branchbrook for a little bit. Yeah, you know, just go over there. Just go play. Yeah, go to Weekway. Have fun. Have fun. With JFK. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, JFK used to be fucking bad, bro. My dad used to take me there when I was a kid when he used to take his kids there at YCS. Yeah. Right. I think it's just ghetto as fuck, bro. Bro, OD, bro. That this shit what... looked like the. You ever watch Coach Carter? Oh yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, the yeah. fucking gym looked like, but just a little like, bigger, like a little, little bigger, bigger yeah. than that. Shit's fuck. That shit still know. open, bro. That shit closed down. Of course, that's that's, that's just the hood, bro. That's really hood class. They that's, need that to stay open. Yeah, I know that that shit closed down. Riots is happening. Yeah, bro. Throughout the fucking thing. No, nah, it's so deep. But all right, I got a question for you, right? Yeah. So would you rather? So whichever one you pick, only you get to experience it. Have all objects be able to talk to you, or have all animals be able to to all animals be able to talk to you? All objects? All objects. Book. Can. Chapstick. Yeah, like all these niggas is talking to you right now. Or all animals? Or all animals. Animals. Think about it, bro. Like. Bro, I couldn't go to sleep. That's, that's, that's you're telling me one of my objects is not going to be sleep? I'm telling you, there's so many objects in my room. I'll be laying in the P5, be like, bro, you need to turn me off here, bro. Like, feel me? Because I leave it on. I'll be laying there in the TV, going to be like, bro, you've been using me all day, bro. You feel me? Like, talking shit. I know, but like, imagine you eat animals. Fuck. Imagine you. Imagine you go past like a, a slaughterhouse or a farm. You just hear screaming. Ah! Like ah! Help! Help! <laughs> Niggas is laughing. <laughs> ah! you, I, oh yo, like you go past a farmer like we're trapped, we're slaves. Please, <laughs> like help me, please. They're gonna kill us. <laughs> I'm saying. You go to the zoo and it's like you're a piece of shit. <laughs> Like you go past the square, like you almost hit me, you fucking yeah. asshole. Like, hella weird shit. Nah, I fuck with that. Because some of them going to be cool. What the fuck? Like, what animal? Na- what object is not going to be cool? They're going to be like, bro, I, I don't it. want a beer. Nah, nah. Some niggas going to be cool. Like, my bed going to be like a comfy nigga. He going to be like, all right, bro, you cool? You cool? Like, you bro, comfy, get bro? off. <laughs> <laughs> I think the only nigga I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a problem with with the objects is my toilet. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. All of them are deed. There's too many objects for you to like. It's all good. Peace. I'm, yo, we're all gonna be chilling. But yo, y'all got. But me. animals, like I can have a dog, and you can really, I can really. Nah, that's really my bro. Damn, a dog is tough. Nah, that's really my bro. A dog is tough. That's. But that's, would you still? Damn, that might convince me. If I be able to talk to dogs, bro, that's I'm actually saying. hard. And then he's like, he comes back. Hey, squirrel side talking mad shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm about to go bite that nigga. Feel me? That's hard. Bro. Now I'm like, do what you gotta do, gang. Damn. But would you be a vegetarian? There's a lot of know? snitching that's going to happen, though. There, there is. That Squirrels, gonna... you talking to a cop. Like, say somebody kills somebody, and he's like, cop goes to Squirrel. Did you see what happened? He's like, yeah, bro. Let's go home in the house down there. Squirrel dips you. Never see Squirrel again. Mm, real shit. What about cockroaches, too? You got a roach in your crib. He's like, yo, I'm about to eat this nigga food real quick. Yo, you hear, you hear roach like, you hear two roaches like, yeah, bro, get, yo, get the Skittles. Yo, get the, it's like, yo, who in this motherfucker? Like, you know what I'm saying? You don't even know where he's coming from. Yeah, you can hear ants and shit. You hear ants and spider. shit. Spider. Yeah, spider can be like, Spider's like, bite the fuck nigga, out of Nigga, I'll beat your ass. Don't, don't, don't even touch me. Bro, he don't even know I'm crawling in his ear. Rats in Newark? Oh, nah. I feel like the coolest animal to talk to would be a low-key like a fucking... Nah, squirrels. I feel like squirrels gonna have anxiety. Yeah, they're like gonna be a bunch mad of mad hyper and shit. Yeah, low key cat. I feel like Sloth. a cat. I feel like nah. I think a cat gonna be a cool ass nigga. Nah, he gonna be a bitch ass. Like, he, he, gonna, he gonna be an asshole, a cocky though. ass nigga, bro. Nah, he gonna be an asshole. He bro. gonna be cool, but like, he yeah, gonna keep bro, it real though. We chilling, but like he not gonna give a fuck. Like you gonna be like, bro, I'm just having a long day. Ah, ah. He'll be like, type shit. But like, and I go feel, to sleep and not care. But I feel like some days he gonna keep it real. I mean, he say some real ass shit. Like you'd be like, yo. I feel like a dog though, like support you, bro. 
But I feel he would like nah, dog. Too. Dog will hop on the pod. The cat will be like, bro, you asking for a lot. Like that is, t- <laughs> I'm not really like feel me. I'm your boy, but you're doing the most. Like I'm not hopping on the pod. Oh my god, your dog will hop on the pod though. That is real shit, bro. Cats are weird, bro. Cats, are, yo, uh, would you want to have a cat? I would want a as cat. a kitten. They're cute, but then when they get older, they don't care. They're so independent. They don't give a damn. But I feel like they tough though. Like cats is like like if you got a cat that's like dogs are tougher, bro. No, dogs are tougher. But like cats is just like you. You could just let that nigga live. He just he he's basically your roommate type shit. Yeah, but he don't care. Like you start dying and shit. Like you having a heart attack. He's cool. Oh yeah, I feel a okay. dog, bro. You nigga did. Bro, yeah, he's would barking, he's running, he's hitting the door. Like You feel me? He's trying to get help. A dog will go and get help because you're injured. That's true. A cat will literally let you walk in. Yeah, there's a dead nigga in the basement. I got eats, though. That he's is true. Me, like, he won't care. But, yo, cats are real killers, though. Like, I, like uh, Jay brother got a cat. Like, he got a new... Uh, he got a cat maybe, like, a couple months ago. Like, when he was a kitten, I used to play with him in toys. Nigga used to stalk him. Like, you know how dogs, they just jump on the toys? That nigga would just, like... He'll, like, and stalk pounce. it. And pounce. Bro, cat will accidentally scratch you or like play fighting and scratch you and you get hurt. Not give a fuck. That is true. Dog accidentally bites you and you're like actually in pain. He will actually feel bad. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not fucking with cats. I, like, I, like with me, I feel like cats are low key like a little weird, bro. Like they're you, weird. Bro. Like you know, they're the only feline that has like the slit eyes. Like you know how? You yeah. Know, you know Why how? Do they have I don't know. It's really weird. Like you know how? Like the only things that have slit eyes is like reptiles. Like crocodiles and snakes, like cats are the only ones that have that. Like lions don't have that shit. Jaguars don't have that Is shit. That only a real cats. candle. Why you think it was fake? Yeah, yeah. I, I, seem, I'm, a, I'm a candle nigga now. You seem like a, you seem like a fake candle ass nigga and a real candle ass nigga. What does that even mean? How do I have a, like? Oh, you like like I, I guess it's just like a light. Yeah, like yeah, uh, like, like fake candle. But then you also be doing some mid shit. So like you. Look like you will light some candles like every night. And I see you definitely use that candle because it's almost done. Yeah, I've been using it a lot recently. Just because the vibes, bro. Just mm. get a little can- I, I, I like candles now. I want to mm. get some more candles. You're actually soon. a fucking loser. You don't like, you're going to like candles soon, bro. Nah, I've never. You got to like candles. I'm soon. a grown man, bro. I've never. What is that candles. supposed to mean? I don't like candles, bro. Like, if I give you a, a fucking. If you give me a candle as a like gift, I'm tripping. Like, I'm like, like bro, I'm going to give this to my mom. Bro, you get candles for your aunties and shit, bro. Bro, you get a you get in a, you have a room, right? Your room. I give you a a, a strawberry shortcake candle. That's fruity. <laughs> like at least give me like, bro. Your know, room goes smell like a bakery, like a bourbon. You know, smell. I think it, what the fuck? That's a grown man smell. Nah, I don't want no bourbon. <laughs> what the fuck? I want my shit to smell like whiskey. Yeah, I want saying. strawberry shortcake. I want my shit. Bro, that is sweet. You s- <laughs> Give me strawberry shortcake. Ooh, what, apple, what did it say here, bro? Uh, apple pie. Nigga, that's soft and fruity. <laughs> yo, what? Ooh, an apple pie, an apple crisp smell. Bro, you hungry. That yo, shit you bust. <laughs> that shit hungry will fucking ass. bust. <laughs> an apple, uh, a- apple crumble, a fucking... Um, a Just fucking, eat an apple crunch. Like, eat some uh, apple uh, shit. Nah, a summer breeze. Summer breeze summer goes breeze stupid. Cool. Summer breeze cool. Summer Spring breeze, breeze smell like rain and shit. <laughs> shit will go stupid. I'm telling you, tell you shit will go crazy. Shit will go crazy. <laughs> the summer breeze, bro. Don't sleep on the spring. No, the spring falls. Whatever shit called. No, I, that fall. That shit is um cinnamon apple, my nigga. My fucking cinnamon C- apple. My fucking cinnamon <laughs> apple. That's actually a good. <laughs> That's a good one. That shit busts. <laughs> that shit busts, bro. I respect that one. That shit's rocking. I need to get some more. Ca- I got to find some new scents, bro. Damn, now I'm about to buy a candle. Yeah, I'm about to set up a P.O. box, yo. Send me some shit. Y'all want to send us some shit? Send us some shit, bro. Yeah, send some candles. I'm telling you, tap into the candles, bro. That's tap into the candle work. Candle cut. But I, I got another question for you, right? Mm-hmm. So would you rather for a hun- for $10 million get kicked by a horse, be bitten by a crocodile, but once you get bitten, there's people on deck to help you get out. Stick your hand in a piranha tank for 10 seconds or or I say, yeah, stick your hand in a piranha tank for 10 seconds with a bloody hand. So you're already bleeding. So they're going to bite you. I was about to cook you. I was about to yep, cook. I know. I, niggas in the comments got me. I just remember. Yeah, or fight two full grown ostriches to the death. To the death? Oh, then I die. Okay. No, nah, or you can, you can just fight them. Fight them for 30 minutes. Nah, fight to the death. Piranha. 
That shit gonna fucking hurt. Like, because you know, I don't have to just keep my hand, sh- like, sitting there. I'm gonna be do- moving around and shit. But you know how big some piran- piranhas get, like, this big? Yeah, but I'm gonna be... I'm, I'm low-key... At worst, I lose a hand. I know, that sucks. But it's gonna just take chunks, you know what I'm saying? That shit... Oh, no. At worst, it's gonna take chunks out of They'd my hand. They'd be like... They'd be running. That's what I'm saying. But with a freaking... You just... <laughs> you just did a piranha. <laughs> low-key, I might get kicked by the horse. You're bugging. You're gonna break a rib. That's cool. It regenerates. I'm you cool. Might, my shit go. My shit regenerate. My bro. shit go get, go get better. Bro, you go break a rib and possibly die. You break a rib too close to your heart, puncture your heart, cuz. I'd be cool. I like just and you gonna be out of breath. Might collapse a lung. People, a lot of niggas collapse lungs before and lived. Bro, that's max. <laughs> that's so <laughs> max. Just get kicked like a little little they horse getting kick. Bit. I get kicked right in the shoulder. My shoulder, my shoulder is going done. to break your shoulder. Oh yeah, blade my shoulder's done. And your clavicle. Okay, nigga, you talking? And your about, shoulder gonna be done for you. You might of lose life. fingers, bro. You could move around, bro. Fuck that mean. There's like, yo, there's like twenty of them in there. Okay, it's not one it's only for ten seconds, bro. Okay, my nigga is one kick. Ah, no cap. I'm doing this. You ain't taking no fingers, St- bro. They still gonna bite this. They gonna bite, and I'm a punch. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that shit gonna fucking hurt. I'm I'm getting kicked by I'm getting kicked by that shit, bro. You about to break it? You about to be done? That's not bad. I let him miss and hit you in the chin. Done up. Mm. I've seen <laughs> niggas get kicked by horses and not like and lived. It's just they, it's, you know you'll live, but you're done. Like I'm not gonna be like a vegetable. Like I don't think I'm gonna get paralyzed. Bro, you're breaking a rib, bro. I'll be good in six months. Niggas Max. be playing in six. Bro, Max. Baker Mayfield broke his ribs and playing right now, bro. He's different. He's a dog. Like, I'm oh, not, you are. Dog. I'm a literally dog. In the past life, you were literally a dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm saying, bro, get kicked right in the shoulder. I'm cooling, bro. Nah, I'm cooling off, off so, getting that. So you gotta get you get piranha. Piranhas. Finger me. Yeah, okay. Pause. Oh, clip that. <laughs> clip that. 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 That is bad. Wap it. My phone, bro. Wap it. Died. Wap it. Oh, you could just just stop it and see what happens. Did the thing stop? That's why Jay's the best in the building, folks. <laughs> Please, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's always Ty's episodes. It's still recording? Yeah. Shout out to Jay in the background. Thank you, Jay. Cool. Best in the building. Best cool. in the business, you know what I'm saying? saying great, great Making sure camera. everything is awesome. This, this pod wouldn't be possible without Jay in the background. Greatest camera crew. You know what I'm saying? It's all good though? I don't know if it's charging. Why? Because it wasn't ready to plug in when it said low battery. Um, you, you can just switch the charges of anything. Because I know, uh, because I know that's been on the charger for a minute if you want to switch it. Or, or we can ask, you guys leave me for another charger. <laughs> like, okay. like, mm, like, <laughs> does it still look like? Does it look like it's charging, or does the the charger thing pop up? Does that one charge? It doesn't say the the, the percentage. Ah oh, shit! What low? What battery was it at? Twenty. Twenty. Damn, that's ass. Well, I guess we gotta we have to wrap up this pod quick. <laughs> we gotta wrap up this pod quick. <laughs> shit! Before everything goes left. Uh, what else? What else we gotta talk about? Um, you know I'm gonna I'm gonna save that for the next pod then. All right, I got an. Oh, okay. I got this one question. I got another question, and then I got we have a game. We'll play the game at the end. So, would you rather get bitten by the spider that bit Spider Man, but have a fifty fifty chance of dying? So you'll either die, or get become Spider Man. Warm him, or go through three days of torture. To get Deadpool's powers, but you will live. So everything Deadpool went through, you'll go through in three days. Or get bitten by that spider and have a 50 50 chance of living or getting becoming Spider Man. Me personally, I'm going the Deadpool route. I'm just gonna thug it out and then I'm immortal. I ain't gonna lie to you. But I don't wanna be immortal. Wait. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you. I've been hitting on roulette in the casino. Yeah. Bet on black. I'm spider me. Oh, bet on Spider-Man? Bite me. Bite. <laughs> Spider-Man. 
I'm nice. Low key, I might be Spider-Man. At worst, I die. I was going to die anyway. But if I hit, oh, you're Spider-Man. 6'8 Spider-Man? That's OD. 6'8 Spider-Man? You really can't fuck with this 6'8 Spider-Man. That's that nigga cool. might be the best of all time. I'm, come on. 6'8 Spider-Man? 6'8 Spider-Man beats regular Spider-Man's ass. Oh, it's it's simple. cooking that nigga. 6'8, what? How yeah. much you weigh? 240? 250,000. 250? Say not. 235,000. 235, 6'8 Spider-Man? Swinging through the... Ah, that's, nobody's stopping that nigga. No, I think I'll be smart. I'll take, I'll take my wrist because I just don't want to be immortal. I want to die eventually. Yeah, but that tortures Max. I know. The shit that he had to go through, nigga was like drowning at one point. Like, did you remember when they had to fucking... Like, they had to like put him under the water or some shit and he had yeah, to... He couldn't shit. breathe. Yeah, yeah I don't think I could deal with all that. They put him in like acid. Like, it was pretty bad. But... Uh, Spider, yeah, Spider Man, Spider Man, me, Spider Man powers are way more cooler yeah, too. Yeah, it's cool as hell. What the fuck? Deadpool is just he just don't die. Just don't die. And and just you, don't, you don't even know how to fight. Like, exactly. You feel me? You just go, <laughs> he just it's just whatever. Just at don't that point. die. He still feels pain too. Like, exactly. Yeah. Nah. Exactly. Kind of a punishment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's kind of a punishment. At the end of the day, it's just okay. That's real shit. Real shit. Yeah. Real shit. <laughs> Six eight Spidey though. That's a, that's a new breed. It's different. I let that nigga run the Avengers, bro. That's fuck Tony Stark. Yeah. But. All right, bro. I got a Mandela Effect game. Speaking of Mandela Effect, I think this is a Mandela Effect. This what? was red. <laughs> this was red. This used to be red. That okay? It so used... I have a I have a stool right here that holds the microphones. He said that was red. No, I think you're high. That shit was always that yellow. That was red. Maybe in another life. I don't know. That I'm was always gonna ask, I'm going to ask the chat. You know the stool that the mics are on? I'll ask they, him. We'll see. It's been red. We'll see. We'll see. Go ahead. But, go ahead, though. But, but yeah. So I'm going to give you, I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you the iPad, and I'm going to show you different pictures of like logos and you have to tell me which one is the real one okay okay so first one is the Kit Kat logo people all my sorry for my all, all my audio listeners you might not see this but for my video listeners you would definitely see this so which one here you can hold this okay you get five seconds to pick which one is the right Kit Kat one five four three two one which one is correct left Left? Let me see. They look the same. So you're saying the one without the hyphen? Let me see. Because this one this one has a hyphen in it. Oh, yeah. Left. Left? Let's see if you're correct. Because I remember I wrote it all down. And I think you are correct. You might be living in the right dimension. Because I am nice. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, you are right. No hyphen. Kit Kat does not have a hyphen in I it. I don't be missing like that. You know what I'm you're saying? You're nice. You're nice. Okay. My fault. My fault. Next one. The target sign. Which Tar- one is the real target symbol? Tarjays. Five, four, three, two, one. The one on the left. The one on the left? It's definitely the one on the right. Yeah, it's the one on the left. The one on the left? So the one on the left has a little white circle, and that is incorrect. It is actually this one. I was thinking of the dog, and I remember the dog had it right. Yeah. It's actually this one. Oh, I always crazy. thought it was this, though. Yeah. I always thought it was that though. That shit fucked me up. Yeah, I got cooked. That shit fucked me up. Now, uh, fruity, the frosted flake symbol. You're basically looking at the guy, uh, the tiger's nose. Like, what color is it? Flakes. Frosted flakes. Five, four, three, two, one. Easily the left. Left. Yeah. Is the right one? Yeah. With the black nose. With the black it. nose, that is actually incorrect. That's mid. He has a blue and black nose. Okay. That's that's not true. He but has a blue and black whatever nose. Whatever you say. You can move the mic over a little bit. Oh, yeah. yeah my the, fault. This way or left? Uh, to your left. To your left. Oh, left. Yeah, because you, you lean to the left. Oh, yeah. No, that literally makes sense. So, Oscar, you heard of Oscar Meyer Bacon? Oscar Meyer. So, which one is the right one? Five, four, three, two, one. Mayor. M-A. M-A? Yeah. You're correct. Nice. I always thought it was M E. I thought it was Meyer. I used to eat Bologna. Bologna? Bologna. 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 Oh, real niggas eat Bologna. Fried? Yeah, yeah. Nah. Nah, I didn't fry my shit either. Yeah. yeah American sure. cheese? White bread? Cold. Yep. Cold? Yes, sir. Mayo? Real niggas. Sometimes when my dad would put mayo on That shit used to get stuck at the top of your, t- top oh, of your teeth? Yeah, both. Real niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real niggas. Real niggas. <laughs> All right, now we have Pikachu. You have to look at his tail color. Pikachu. Five, four, three, two, one the right one right one yeah no no black no black let's see 
I think you're correct. You're going stupid. He got a yellow I'm tail. Actually, actually you're living in the right dimension, I'm my friend. I always thought he had a black at the end, though. No, nah, I, I, I don't know why, but something was telling me. I'm like, no, he didn't have black. Okay, okay. Something was telling me. I'm like, he didn't. Looney Tunes. How was it spelled? Looney Tunes. Five, four, three, two. Left. It has left. to be. Is it? They're cartoons, not musicals. It's actually the right. It's tunes. T U N E S, not T O N S. They're blowing my shit. But, it's a crazy world. It's not guess, tunes. I don't I know how. I don't know how. Don't know why. I guess. I guess if they want to be weird. So Captain Crunch. How is it spelled? Five. Oh, four. Left. Three. Yep. It's Captain Crunch, yeah, not Captain Cap- Crunch. Captain. Captain. Cap- Cap- my brother used to hate Captain Crunch. He said it tastes like bugs, and he made a joke about the word cap. <laughs> and it was funny as hell. <laughs> what, the, what was the joke? It was some like. Uh, they said, like, he was talking about the commercial, and they said they're, like, amazing. Oh, they're so good. And he's like, they're capping. So Niggas is cap weird. <laughs> he said, they're capping. Like, yeah, it was funny as hell. Like, Niggas yeah. is sick. Yeah. All right. I know you can't eat this because you're allergic, but which one is it the right one? Is it Jiffy? Jiff. Or? Yep. It's Jiff. I always thought it was Jiffy, though. For no. a minute, I thought it was Jiffy. I thought they just rebranded and made it Jiff. No, no, it's definitely Jiff. Okay, okay. No, I'm, just, Jif. I'm just ass. I'm, I'm nice. Curious George, did he have a tail or no tail? Five. He never had a tail. Four. Oh my god! He, he never living, had a tail. You're living in the right I remember dimension. He used to blow my shit because he never had a tail. He didn't have a tail, and I'm like, how is he a monkey? Wow, you're like in the he right dimension. Ha- he didn't have a tail. All right, now it's Sex in the City. Is it the? It's the name of the thing. And Sex. And- it's got to be And. I remember wow. I was a little horny nigga when I was when I was younger. Wow. Oh shit! And I used to look it up. And every time I type Sex in the City, everything else would pop up, but And, and it worked. I didn't know that. So niggas was just horny. Yeah, I was a horny nigga, bro. Wow. I was trying to watch porn, but it was sex and the city. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Okay, okay. Yep. Now, Febreze. How is Febreze spelled? Oh, it, was, it has to be left. With two E's? Yeah, it it's has to be. It's actually one E. That's di- Febrez? Yes. That's why I'm... That, I think this is crazy. I think... There, I remember That's cap- No, I'm not jacking that. Not, I'm yes. not jacking that. I'm not... I'm telling you, bro. There's only one E, bro. There's only one E, bro. Shit's crazy work. One E. No two E's, bro. Wow. That's crazy. Now, Skechers. How was it spelled? Oh, it has to be T-C-H. Nope. What There's no T. What do you mean by that? There was no T in Skechers. No. <laughs> Skechers. It's this one. S-K-E-C-H-E-R-S. It's not Skechers. That's weird, right? I thought it was Skech. I thought I'm it was Skechers. Bad marketing. That's bad marketing. I don't know. That doesn't know how it sounds. That's not English. Exactly. Ske- that's why I'm. What trying- is a Sketch? Exactly. It don't make no sense. <laughs> now, Fruit Loops. How does it look like? <sighs> Five, four, three, two. I think it's the two O's. Two O's because it's not real fruit. Correct. It is Fruit Loops. Yeah, it's not real fruit. I always thought it was that. Fruit. I remember something about they can't call it Fruit Loops because it's not real fruit. Ah, so it's look at this nigga. Fruit loops. Nigga smart. Now it's Cheez Its. No, oh. no. Nah, come on. It has to be the Z. There's no Z. And don't it. even tell me. There's no Z. It's only it's Cheez It. It's not Cheez Its. It's Cheez It. So why do we say I want some Cheez Its? I don't know. I always thought there was some Cheez It. I guess you got plural? Che- you guess you got Cheez Its? Nah, but still though, I feel like I still feel like it was freaking what's it called, bro? That's just crazy work, bro. Shit is crazy work. Cheese it? Cause it's a cheese it. Wow, you're eating a cheese it. You cheese it. Yeah. Wow, cheese. And the cut. last one is double stuff Oreos. How many F's was in double stuff? Like which one looks right? I'm going with the two F's. Two F's? I it's got... actually one F. Double stuff Oreos is spelled with one F. There is... So that's not in the dictionary. I guess so that's... The... I just want to say it's bad marketing. Very bad marketing. And actually, I think I have one, one more. Oh, actually, I didn't take a picture of it. But what I heard, right? Uh-huh. So with the whole Mandela effect... Shit, like you, you know what the Mandela effect is, right? Yeah. So I've heard that there's a theory that's going around that's saying the Mandela effect 
is a government experiment to see how much they could change the change our history. Yeah, yeah, yeah I heard about that. You, because I heard, because you know how um, easy it is to change. How it. they're trying to test and they they're working with the big name brands and companies to see if they could change history without mm-hmm. us knowing about it, mm-hmm. right? So basically, you know, Fruit of the Loom, right? Mm-hmm. So the big whole um, Mandela effect with the Fruit of the Loom is that they have fruit, but the Mandela effect is that there was a cornucopia with the fruit on on the logo. You ever seen Fruit of the Loom? Yeah, but, yeah, with the cornucopia, the little brown thing. Yeah, there is no cornucopia, mm, but sure. they, but like people swear that they seen the cornucopia like years ago. But even Fruit of the Loom brand had made a statement saying that we never had a cornucopia in our logo. It's always been just straight fruit, mm-hmm. right? But this one TikToker was going crazy, like she was, she swore up and down that nah, she's seen a cornucopia. They're just lying to us. Like she would, she would t- even her therapist. Because why would we imagine a cornucopia? Body? Exactly, bro. Like it's the weirdest shit. But it was like she swears up and down that like yeah, nah, I've seen a cornucopia. She would go in her closet, look through all the clothes. She would even look in her friend's closet until she found one shirt that had the cornucopia logo on it and took a picture of it. And what did Fruit Loom respond? They didn't say nothing. They was just everybody was just in shock because everybody thought she was crazy. But they seen it was a black T shirt with the Fruit of Loom thing. And what they're saying is that the government is trying to is working with them to try to see how much of history they can really change, and they're basically basically gaslighting us, telling us like, "Nah, you guys are crazy." Like we're not professional gaslighters. Professional Yo. gaslighter is fucking crazy, bro. Because just imagine if they could change like they're trying to see if they could change little small things in our history to see if we notice. So you could do it. So on they the could do it on scale, the bigger the scale, and niggas would just completely forget. Because there's so there's probably so many other Mandela effects that we don't know about. That's that like, aren't just shed to like yeah. yeah like you ever heard like that um that one song I think it's by like Fergie it's like I got that or it's like Black Eyed Peas it's got that boom 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 yeah it's like you know when she says you so two thousand and eight or something she two thousand and late, late. You know, I'm so two thousand and eight yeah so she like she didn't say two thousand and eight all right she said three thousand and eight. She did not. I swear. She did not. I'm telling you, she didn't. I swear, bro. Look it up. Look up. Just listen to the song. No, no, no. No, no, no. I I believe it's going to lie to me, but I'm telling you right now, I used to sing it and it came out in 2000. I'm not doing it. So I I don't understand what is going on. It's the weirdest thing in the world. And like, I like, I think that's like, it's, it makes a little sense. If the government is really gaslighting us, that is a crazy thing. Cause imagine what they're trying to cook up, bro. I don't know. It's a lot of weird shit going on, but I like these Mandela effects been creeping me the fuck out. Like the I mean, the one, life. bro, the one big Mandela effect that I oh I talked about it way before, like in the beginning of the pod, was the Boots ice cream. You you know when you go to you know when you go to like a the um the ice cream truck and shit like that, they have like the little faces. Yeah, you remember? You know they have Dora, they mm-hmm. have Sonic, they have like SpongeBob. Mm-hmm. You remember like the Boots one? Yeah, they did not have a Boots one. That shit never existed. Like, Boots from Door, that shit never existed. But I swear, I can picture it right now. I can picture it right now. And I pro- I think, I, I I don't know why I'm picturing, like, I feel like I remember a Boots one. And I talked about this on the pod. Wait, if you're a real nigga on the, real one from the pod, you know, maybe episode, like, nine or ten. I want to argue with, like, the people who do this. That's what I'm saying. Like, Bezos or whoever's in charge of this shit. Bro. Because I'm like, I saw it. Just tell me I was right and I'm cool. Bro, literally, right? People, somebody drew a picture of the boots, like ice cream. But like, if you look it up, there's no actual thing. It's just this one drawing that somebody drew. This exact, like, look, that's what it's supposed to look like. But this shit right here. Oh, shit. The fuck? What? This says there's actual proof. I don't know if this is real or not. Or somebody made like a fake ass. Nah, it looks like somebody made that shit. Yeah, somebody might have made this shit, but that, like I remember vividly seeing that shit. But niggas were I saying that eating sh- it and it looking discombobulated. I'm saying, bro. I remember eating. I don't it. know. I think the government's gaslighting us, bro. Think they are. Hey man, <laughs> they think they are. Hey, bro. They trying to figure us. They trying to do some shit. Don't know what's happening, but you got anything else you want to talk about before we end the pod, bro? I think. You got any last yeah, things? Shit on my, I just want to make sure I was like, I gotta save this one. Let me make sure. I oh, back up real quick. No, I just want to make sure I didn't have anything. It is currently 1.17 in the morning, people, and we're out potting. Shout out to everybody watching the podcast right now. You know what I'm saying? Out the realest out. ones. Okay, there's the merger. 
drinking a sparkling watermelon Celsius. I want to I wanna try doing a solo pod one day. No, I can't do that shit. Like, That's going to be fucking You can talk cringe. to yourself. I'm literally just talking to the camera like, Fuck so God. Me. Like, I'm just going to really be just chatting. It's literally just chatting to a thousand percent. I'm going to say so much bullshit. Whatever I see during my day, I'm just going to say it. Like cranes. Put on a uh, Patreon. One day. I'm just going to talk about mad shit that Dang, I don't believe Like, I don't believe in. What did I... Yo, I don't know where I put all my shit. Yo, I have a... You know, I have I a... Guess, like, I don't even know where I put my topics. I, wow. Nigga lost his topics. L wow. Po- L podcast host. It's crazy. You know, you know, I have like a whole po- like a whole podcast topic list in my phone, in my notes. You know what I mean? I put it on Word docs. You know how many pages it is? 17. Nah, it's way more. Way more? What Bro, the... F- that shit is... I forgot how many pages, but it was 50,000 words. Great bucks, sir. Hey, bro, it's, we grinding out here, bro. Yeah, we grinding bro, for sir. you people. You yeah. got anything else you want to say to them before we end the pod, bro? Um, You will say on top. Uh, <laughs> you will say on top, bro, nigga, shit. Shout out to all my niggas. And, um, there's, some, there's one dude, and he be hitting me up all the time. I forgot where he lives. He lives somewhere in Europe. He's a real nigga, though. He always DMs me all the time. Um, Shout out to HD. Um, Favorite color is red. That's about it. Real shit? That's all I got. Type bro. shit, bro. Thank y'all again for tuning in to another episode of No Regrets Podcast, episode number 123. If you made it all the way to the end, comment USA on top, because we're the greatest nation in the world, even though we doesn't seem like it from the inside looking out. Y'all niggas know, we the superior. We are them ones. We got the highest black concentra- com- Concentra- concentration. Concentration is wild. I did this and you said concentration. Yeah, I know. That's max. <laughs> we're bugging. Yeah, we're bugging out. So... Thank you for tuning in. More stuff coming in 2024. Stay tuned for that. You know what I'm saying? More content, more IRL content, more streams, more or new streams coming, new IRL content, ghost content coming back, paranormal content coming back, new shit. If you want to see more stuff, join all the discords to get up to date with all the things, no regulars and all that nature. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, we different. They regular, no regulars, man. Gangster. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.